Ay, Ay, yo, yo, yo. Se está fumando ya. Se está fumando porque yo lo dejé, ese yeah. aguerón. Yeah. Espérate, yo. Right, ¿Cómo ustedes están, mi gente? Está heavy, está heavy. Yo, 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 ¿Tú yo, me yo, oyes? Sí, perfecto. Estamos heavy. Check, check. Eh. Damas y caballeros, niños y niñas, bienvenidos a la más grande más fuerte del mundo. ¿Qué tú dices? Porca, más aplausos. Ay, 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 ay. Hola, mi gente, tenemos aquí. Dame juca, ve de ahí. Tenemos aquí, tenemos aquí a un hermano de nosotros, Pelson. La, 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 la. Tipo lindo. Hombre bello, hermoso. Che, che, che. Él no, se pamó cuando chiquito no creció mucho, pero está cesa. Mujer, es un hombre casado. Está fuera del market. Ya, eche, eche para allá. ¡Wey, wey, ey, ey, ey! ¡Ey, 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 ey, ey! 
<laughs> All right, what did you do when you got that brother? What did you do? Well, yeah, it was nothing crazy. Again, nothing crazy. Uh, you, know, you know what I'm with travieso de que in, in the sense of the que like, let me get into crazy trouble. Yeah. Like, mami tenía la mano fuerte. But yeah. un día yo estaba así, like, she had a, una jipeta, and, and we turned it on, play music, mine, you know, whatever. But it was just like in like the the second, it wasn't all the way on. It was so just the battery, yes. Yeah, so oh, like, you fucked up the battery. So like, le, le manté la batería. Oh, ¿pa' qué fue eso? A pata limpia me cayó, bro. El diablo a pata. Yeah, she came and kicked me, bro. He played soccer with my no, boy. No, 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 no. No, Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee. Like, Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. But like, it, it never like, I don't know. Like, it was just like things like that. Like, or like if I was, I would come home from late from school like a certain time and, she, and I wasn't home, like she would bug out. Bug out, show him me what, 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 was, what was your curfew? What was your curfew time? Curfew, like, so when we was home, that was it. Like, it, she would she would be there, but then sometimes she'll go to she she worked at a bodega. It was not far from here. It was on Clinton Ave, right, right where like uh, by Irvington High is. Okay. So they had a bodega. So it used to be there at, not, at like nine nine ten o'clock at night. So my friend was right down the block. His name is the Lion. We used to just play. We used to play with the block, uh, manhunt, whatever the case may be. Nothing crazy. Like it was just it was just kids. It was it was a different time. You know what I mean? Like we could just be outside and just be us, right? Like. It wasn't okay. really like I don't know like it, it wasn't. What do, what do you think kids are missing because they don't have that that experience? Because to be honest, I listen to me to this day. I coach kids, and I haven't heard the word manhunt in any of the years that I've been coaching. And that was a game, bro. Like that. That was like that the, was the yeah. game, <laughs> right? El topao. Nah, nah, for sure, bro. Tag too, like all that yeah, shit. Yeah, like canterita, all that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, like you know. <laughs> nah, but I, I think kids we're so indulged in our in our cell phones nowadays and. All, everything with VR and things like that, this virtual reality world that we're moving into, I think it's just eliminating the whole fact of like, let's be face to face or go outside and let's actually play, right? Like, I feel like that's missing. I'm going to add a little bit to what he's saying. Y yo creo que me, eh, le, da, le está dando mente últimamente, perdón por la redundancia, eh, es que when we were kids, en la noticia era que salía la cosa mala. Mm. We didn't watch the news. Okay. So we didn't. We weren't scared to be outside. No, no, yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. ¿Tú me entiendes? Yeah. Ahora, ahora, tú eres un chamaquito pendejo, como era, como era, como era yo, como era Harley, como él dijo. Pendejo. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Cause, no, 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 like, no, no, no. you get scared quick, right? <laughs> out, out of some bullshit. If you that kid, you're not going outside at all, my nigga. Que se perdió fulano. 70 chamaquitos perdidos. Y tú lo ves todos juntos. Uno en Arizona, uno en que se yo qué, uno en que se yo cuánto. Y lo ves todos juntos. Cuando se perdía un tigre en California, eso era nada más California que lo sabía. Okay, so what you're saying is that because we're we, because of the advancement that we have in technology, news are spreading much more quicker, uh -huh. right? And y now there's a bigger fear. And and the the news that spreads the fastest is bad news. Obviously, right? Because nobody like nobody. Look, look, si yo cuánto chamo que tengo una escuela. Now, no. Here's the thing with that, right? So. I understand both sides of this, right? And I'm, I'm a, let's let's first talk about the the let's say the technology, the spreading the spread, no, the spreading of news, right? The issue with that is is that our brains just naturally are just wired that we are more attracted to fear than to happiness. Mm. We want we want to see the fights. Mm -hmm. We want to see the people getting lost, right? We will stop and watch that. I gotta take, but if, I gotta take on that, Go ahead. right? But if we do watch, if we do watch some kid helping a grandma across the street. Or we see a kid uh, accomplish some crazy number, like in the SATs or something. That doesn't give ratings to the TV and to the people who are, you know, putting out these news. They don't get the numbers that they need to then get the money that they're looking for. Right. right? Yeah. So, therefore, yes, we do see all of those news, right? Um, but then on the other end is, you know, that's where we're being submitted. That's where we're being given. So now it's almost like we don't even have an option of looking at the good news. You sure I'm getting at? Like, if there was a balance of like, okay, you got to go 50-50. You got to go 50 bad news, 50 good news, right? It wasn't even like that back in and the like, day, what though. What do you choose, right? No. Like, yeah. It wasn't even like that back in the day. Vamos, vamos a poner este ejemplo. Al rojo vivo. Mm. ¿Qué pasaba ahí? <laughs> ¿Qué, ¿Qué el chupacabra que si yo cuánto? <laughs> ¿Qué mataron a que si yo cuánto? ¿Qué el cartel del diablo? Al rojo vivo, literal. Time out, time out, time out. Yo, you know I have years without hearing about Chupacabra? <laughs> because it's not news no more. Like, if yeah. something like that is really happening, we're going to know. Like, it's going to pop up. You know what I'm saying? Cuando, cuando, no, cuando no había cámara en todo lado, you could put fear into people with el Chupacabra, nigga. Yeah, yeah, man. Y era un perro que le estaba degranando la vaca a la gente. <laughs> 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 See what I'm saying? Like, Al Robbie literally had a song. Boom, 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 boom. 
Like that calls your attention. Like, hey, oh, hey, what's, that, what's that? What's that? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Or like Guatemala. 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 Yeah, 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 yo, everybody shut up, right? Like, que porque era, porque era una vaina de fantasía en tu cabeza que y mucho mucho que si o qué que el dinero oh, y que yeah. y que fui yo qué que Walter yeah, Mercado es una leyenda en, en, en el mundo hispano. Ahora, Rest in peace, check, man, nigga. Check. Pero pero I, what I'm trying to say is like. Ahora mismo, en Instagram, si tuve un tigre de que cantando heavy, tú dices, ah, está bien, cantó heavy. Después de estos dos tigres dando machetazo, la mierda, tú viste. You share that. You share it right away. Quick yeah, as yeah, yeah. Exactly. Pero, this is where my take goes. Remember, I wrote a was something that was calling our parents, right? That's why our parents were no salgan para la calle. Because okay, we're like, ma, we good. Like, that's not happening right here. But, remember, you said, oh, we conditioned to like that more. That's not something we were born with. That's something we condition when you see the movies, right? Okay, that's and it's good, not, that's good it's point. And it's not that it's incenting you to see a fight, like to, to fight. It's like when the movie's good, it's when niggas is fighting. So if you see a nigga fighting on Instagram, that's good. Okay, but, but check, I'm going I'm to give, give you a perfect example of what I mean by condition. Dale. Uh, what's a good fight movie that I watched that I was walling? Um, any, any fight movie. I know every, every time you Warrior's watch... Warrior's a good one. You ever seen every, Warrior? Huh? You ever seen Warrior? Warrior's a good one. Warrior's a good one. Warrior's, Warrior's a good one. Good one. Yeah, now, here's, yeah. my, here's my... Here's my, here's my, here's my, here's my point. Every superhero movie. Ab, exactly. Yeah, every time yeah, yeah. every time you finished watching that movie, didn't you want to like then pretend like you were fighting? Or pretend well, we like you were... were kids, this, yeah. Come on, Not now. I wish somebody would right now. I swear to God, I'm, God, I'm, I'm Goku right now, nigga. <laughs> exactly. So, that, so then that's what I'm getting at. Subconsciously, subconsciously, now you are now walking away from that thinking and wanting to be part of that action. Mm. You see where I'm getting at? <laughs> like, you, that's what I'm trying to get at. You being a kid that que, que no tiene mucha, mucho control en tus emociones, of course, you're probably going to smack somebody. Yeah, oh, yeah, for yeah, sure. I smack the people. You know what I'm saying? But, have, but right? when you, like, again, me voy a poner yo porque yo era pendejísimo when I was a kid. Cuando tú eres pendejo, loco, you just imagine, like, oh, if I, had, if I was that strong, bro, nadie, nadie jodería conmigo. But I know I'm not that strong, so you don't want to joder con nadie. Yeah, but that's you. Ahora, y el chamaquito que cruzado, diciendo, y el, el chamaquito que cruzado eso, de los cables. Eso es lo que yo te estoy diciendo. Yeah. Chamaquitos como yo no lo van a hacer. Chamaquitos with confidence, tú le hablaste raro, they might do it. El cruzado lo hace porque lo miraste. Yo, but also, check this out, too, man. Like, think about, like, if you're watching, let's say, like, Boys in the Hood or whatever the case mm -hmm. be, right? And they personify, they make the hero, the person, the gang member, whatever the case may be. Now you want to be this person, right? Because that's the hero of the movie. That's yeah. the that's the one that you're feeling for. That's the one you gain an emotional attachment with. Mm -hmm. Also, you're a product of your environment. You're seeing this. You're taking a bus every day. You're seeing crackheads on the bus. You're going to school. You're seeing metal detectives. You're being criminalized by the time you you're in high school. So you're already you're already already Used molded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're being molded to this. And then you got to think about also the cable that you're watching, like in your area. What are they what are they projecting on the basic cable people that can't afford the, the higher cable right like on the regular channels what's on channel 11 or, or what channel what was it 72 or the, the channels that we can see that mm -hmm. didn't require cable the case may be if you really think about it CSI when it started let's talk about CSI right mm -hmm. the cop the cop show when that shit started there was not one black cop in that show mm. But they're also, the first couple but, of seasons was not one black cop but every yeah, black guy was either if I don't, black but if I don't mistake Mexican uh Italian, they saw Italiano Nuevo, like came mm -hmm. new, like yeah. some shit like that. And it was just like, shit, like what the fuck? Like, uh, I guess I just got to be on that side. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, because that's the, that's the only one that you see that it represents exactly. you, right? Mm -hmm. And like, yeah. I think I think that's also the thing is representation in these in these movies and in these shows, right? So like example, right now I'm watching uh, SWATs, mm -hmm. right? Amazing series, right? The head guy. Un prieto. It's a black guy. Normal. You see what I'm getting at? Yeah. So now a black kid who's growing up in the streets of Newark, in the streets of Irvington, right, watches the show, now has a different aspiration of themselves, yes, right, yes. of saying like, yo, I can actually be that, right? And it might not be a direct correlation to be like, oh, I see this guy, I can be that guy, but subconsciously it's like, oh, this is achievable, exactly. right? And I think and I think that's also the part when it comes to the uh, like consuming media, right? It's like, what you're consuming, whether you want to believe it or not, it's going to have some sort of effect on you. 100%. You sure I'm getting it? And I think 100%. that's where, that's where you now have to decide, and I go back to my 50-50, right? Is now deciding is like, yo, what 50 are you now allowing your kids to consume, mm. right? Mm. Because if, if you're just saying, yo, you're just going to consume the 50 good, right? You're also taking away from them the fact that there's a reality in this world. You sure I'm right. Yeah. And if you give him the 50 bad, he's like, yo, fuck it, this shit, if this is what the world is, fuck it, let's join it. You sure I'm If I gotta survive, I gotta survive. Right? So I think that's what it is, right? H are we monitoring? Are we monitoring? Monitoring. 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 Yeah. yeah. Are we monitoring 
Monitoring. Are we monitoring el diablo? We'll get to the word. We'll get, we'll get, we'll get to el the word. El diccionario, el diccionario. El diccionario está medio flojo. Are we monitoring? ¿Cuándo fue el último que tú fuiste en la escuela? Pero be by it. Right? I mean, are we monitoring the information that, that we are giving to... Mamá, 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 mamá. Ya, se pega de una vez. Damas y caballeros, niños y niñas, por esto es que con la gente no se puede tener una conversación. Lo bueno, no somos más. Malo, si tú tienes un gol al lado, no digas yeah. barbaridad. Porque a nosotros siempre se están riendo de uno. Que el gol, okay. Entonces uno se dice, oh, tú la magas. Monitoring. There you go. <laughs> right? What, what we're giving these kids. And I think that's really where, you know, I think parents need to take a, a big step because, it's, you know, it's real easy to throw an iPad and just let a kid consume whatever the fuck this he is, wants. This is, what, this is what I think you have to go to. When, and tú, tú no fumas. No, okay. no, el, el hombre, Mejor, hombre. no, ya, 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 también. Ya, yo, yo entendí, yo entendí. <risa> eh, this is what we have to do. The, yo, le, yo le digo esto a todo el mundo, y todo el mundo dice, tú tienes una hija, ¿cómo tú la vas Yo le digo a decir a la hija mía, mira, estas son las fichas del juego. Ñan, ¿viste? Si tú haces esto, los outcomes pueden ser esto. Si tú haces esto, los outcomes pueden ser esto. Ahora, tú juegas el juego como tú quieras. Yo te aconsejo que juegues el juego así. Pero de, ya va, va a llegar un momento que la vida tuya la decides tú. That's a valid point. Y tú vas a jugar el juego como te dé tu gana. ¿Qué yo te digo? Yo voy a estar ahí contigo. Normality. Que te voy a decir, ¿te acuerdas cuando yo te dije que no jugar esa ficha? Y la jugaste. Mira dónde tú estás ahora. Pero tú todavía te puedes salir, puedes ir para acá. Yeah, that comes with wisdom though, with time, right? Yeah, but you, if, you don't, if you don't teach them the entire game, no, no, yeah. they're not going to know what it is. Are you going to tell them, oh, yo, this is the way I think you should go? Because the way my parents were teaching me probably didn't work out for me. I didn't go to the place that I wanted to be. Am I a bad person? How the fuck no? I'm good. I'm educated. All that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Pero cuando tú llegas a un punto de tu vida que tú dices, mierda, ¿qué hago? Y si tú pisaste mal, puede ser que todo el mundo de este alrededor tuyo te vea mal y ya. Si se te metió eso en la cabeza, life is over. That's it. You're done. I'm saying if you let that get to you, and that's why you have to teach the whole board. You have to teach the whole board. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, sure. it's not checkers. It's chess, boy. A B. And every and every move counts, right? Like you have small moves, right? Like the pawns. You have small moves, but that could trickle down to a bigger move. So you got to. Yeah, you, I think it's very wise to be able to teach a child. You know, I have a. You have a child. I have a child, right? Negro. No, 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 no As they start to come up, what are we gonna put? What foundation are we gonna put in place so they can say, okay, this is good and this is bad, right? Like we've normalized so much things that aren't probably the best, right? Facts. But we've we've normalized it. Okay, bien. So how uh -huh. do we survive in this world now? Like how do we teach our children that? Like say going back to the whole social media thing, it's an algorithm that is being listened to, right? It, keywords, things that you're liking, things that you're things that you're sending to people, things that you watch for a long time. Exactly. If you watch something more than a couple of seconds, boom, this is what this person likes. So if you go through your feed and you're liking females, guess what? Your feed is gonna have a bunch of females, It's all sorts female. of them. Gordita, flaca, chiquita, alta, toda. Yeah, yeah. He, she, all of them. Everything, everything. Might see a Ninja Turtle. Whatever, whatever, whatever is your interest, in the, and that's what social media is feeding because that's what you want. Mm -hmm. That's what you're looking for. That's what you're talking about. You're you're surrounding yourself into all that. What you want that's what social media is giving you they give you exactly what you need and what you want and we're yeah. being listened to at this very moment like you guys keep fighting things about Nigga, we know that we know but we know we know that these phones yeah, are sure. because we're talking about chicharrones and I don't know where there's a promo on Instagram <laughs> los chicharrones más duro what the fuck bro like, since when the cachapas have an Instagram yeah, like, yeah, yeah. they said the pussy is like bro like man you know what I'm saying like what's going on Okay. Ya, ya que estaban hablando de social media y, 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 de, y de shows, okay, vamos a hacer un top five. Llegamos al, al, al segmento de los top five. Top five, top five, top five. Mm -hmm. I need you guys to give me your top five TV shows. Mm. <laughs> que te gustan a ti, tuyo. Top five TV shows tuyo. 
No, Netflix bro. series count? TV show. Can it be old, old school? Can it be anything? Old school. Uh, yeah, TV yeah, yeah, yeah. show. No parece muñequito. No muñequito. No estaba hablando de muñequito. Ahora TV show. Like actual, una gente ahí. TV show. Dale, negro. Piensa lo tuyo. Damn, you're going to give me first top five shit. Sí, sí, sí. Deja que el hombre piense lo. All right, so... um. Girl, the, 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 the girl, no, the girls are going to be with me on this one. You guys might not be on this one. Grey's Anatomy. Oh, my goodness. Mm, Grey's Anatomy is good. Grey's Anatomy is amazing. It's a good show. Grey's Anatomy is a motherfucking amazing, bro. Yeah. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> Grey's Anatomy is the fucking <laughs> shit. <laughs> Yo. Yo, you ever seen Nip Tuck? Huh? Nip Tuck? Nip Tuck, I haven't seen Nip Tuck. Oh, that, that no, was wild. No, have you, have, you seen, have you watched Amsterdam? I have not. I have not. Amsterdam. Okay. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, yeah, yeah. Bye, bye, All right. Bye, so, bye, no, we're going to go on Grey's Anatomy. Grey's Anatomy. Is that number five? No, hell no. I'm putting Grey's Anatomy one. Grey's Anatomy one? Yeah, for me, yeah. I love oh, Grey's Anatomy. I can God. watch. Like, I can sit, I can sit down and rewatch it right now. What? Like, I love it. Yeah. Um, Wild. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put I'm gonna put SWATs in there. Okay, okay. Because I'm watching it right now. I'm watching it right now. Um, And I'm going to put another one that I just started watching right now that is amazing. Uh, Suits. I've heard of that one. Have you, that one? Have you, you I haven't seen it. No. What suits? That nigga Harvey? Harvey's that motherfucking okay, guy. Okay, don't go into details of the show. <laughs> Harvey me, is that motherfucking guy. Give me your top five. All right, cool. Bye, uh, Andre. I need two more. Are you putting it in order? The Grey's Anatomy. Swats. Oh no, no, no! I'm putting suits too. Put suits. Grey's Anatomy suits and, and then SWAT and then SWAT three. Okay. Uh, four and five. Who's four and five? Right, TV shows four and five that I could watch over and over again. <sighs> That's a tough one. I'm trying to see if I could think of one that comes to mind quick because I watched it and I would watch it again. <laughs> um, I can't think of four and five. I'm just going to do top three. Top three? Top All three, right, cool. Three. Yeah. My, mine is simple. I, I used to watch things like Martin, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, mm-hmm. uh, the Wayne Brothers. Okay. I did like like sitcoms, like, like okay. uh, Family Matters. Okay. Uh, but, uh, ¿Sabes que a mí nunca me dio nota yo? Family Matters? I watched them all, but I'm not like, oh, yeah, I got to watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like, yeah. those are my shit. Like, I'll, I'll still turn them on. Martin. Mm-hmm. Right, I mentioned Martin already? Or yeah, no? yeah, 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 yeah. Martin. Martin's good. Yeah. You need uh, one more. You said Martin, Fresh Prince, uh, Wayne Brothers, and Family Matters. You need one more. Let me see. I, I, and then I'll, I'll throw in like just a random that I used to watch with my brother, True Blood. True blood. True blood. Yeah. Oh, oh, the arrow, the arrow. I forgot to put oh, the, the arrow. arrow. Oh, yeah, the and flash. flash. Yeah, the flash, the flash. Yeah, my four, my four. You gotta put DC, okay? Okay, just put DC. Okay, yeah. see, if you go top five on DC, don't look. Uh, DC didn't look like 500. Yeah, so just put DC. My four, uh, my, a, my three and four are gonna be DC. I'm gonna go with mine. I'm gonna go with mine, right? Dale, dale, dale. I'm gonna go with mine. Number five. <laughs> I'm gonna say True Blood. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Five. Number four. I'm gonna say Teen Wolf. Oh, Teen Wolf was good. That's just yeah. fire. That's just fire. Yeah. <laughs> Number three, I'm gonna say Fresh Prince. Mm. Right. Number four, it's uh one of the MTV is about British teenagers. I forgot the name of it. I think it's teens actually. I think it's teens. Teens. Right. And number one, and I don't even know. I I didn't think I was gonna like this show that much. It's um this shit. <laughs> you liked it so much you forgot. What's look at the I put you on the other day. You put me on the other day. Oh my God! I my my bad, my bad, my bad. Screw, scratch my list. That's my number one. <laughs> no, no, no. Nah, scratch my you list. That's my number anyway. one. No, 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 that's my number one. <laughs> I, yeah, it uh, not the Hunger Games. No, uh, it's uh, it's with the nigga with the black with the brothers. Damn. Star, uh, the Star family. The Stark family. Star family. Yeah, yeah. Loco him and fue. Yo, that they fight and it's like areas and it's ancient and there's like a wolf. Game of, Game, Game, of Game, 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 Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. My fault. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones number one. Game of Thrones number one. Yeah. Crazy. Game of Thrones Everybody, is fire. Yo, that, that thing was. If you didn't Game know about Game of Thrones, people too. were mad at you. Like, what you mean? You know I saw. Like, yeah. I saw the whole thing before the last season came out. Damn. Like I saw like. A, Didn't they come up with some, something new, like a new like yeah, series yeah. of it? Um, the House of Dragons. House of Dragons. House of Dragons. House of Dragons. Yeah, like a before. Yeah, I haven't seen that. Yeah, my fault. My fault. My fault. My fault. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm taking my list back. Game of Thrones. Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. SWAT. Uh, who's after SWAT? Eh, no me it was oh t- suits. Yeah, suits. yeah. So we're gonna go with Game of Thrones, Grey's, Grey's Anatomy, Anatomy SWAT, SWAT, Suits, suits and DC. And then DC. Oh, yeah. Hold on, I got thrown in Living Color. You see, yeah. Color, <laughs> <Living> color. <laughs> color. Mad TV, you know. Yeah. <laughs> 
Those shows, oh. man, it, it was just the shows. I mean, even Jerry Springer. <laughs> Jerry Springer was hilarious. That was drama. You're that, you the stay, Maury <laughs> show? <laughs> the what, what? But again, you but are again. not the father. Remember, remember what we used to see, bro? Like, we... Us this is our childhood. That's Check out the us as little boys. It's like, bro, women be doing this for real, for real to us? Like, on some real shit? Yeah, man. It's hard to make the la cabeza. If you don't see a you never let that go. Yeah, nah, you know what I'm saying? That then you grow up and you're like, yo, these niggas is faking that shit. Get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like on some bullshit, bro. <laughs> no, no, pero no te apure. No te apure. Si no fuimos en eso, tú supiste la señorita Laura. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Es no, lo mismo. No, no, tú sabes cuál es la Bastardo, madura. No, ¿Qué la pasa, jue... el desgraciado. No, 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 no. ¿Cómo que se llama la juez? La juez, la juez. La doctora Pola, eso te le dije. La doctora Pola, sí. Tú, pero tú no te has Canto cerrado. No. Canto cerrado. Oye, no te atrevas. Oye, no te atrevas tú decirle a la abuela tuya diga que eso es mentira. No, no. Like, and and then then we, when we got older, we see our boys acting in that bitch. Like, <laughs> what? 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 I see that nigga at the club. Like, what are you talking about? Like, that's and, our, and that's your, name, your name is, that's not your name, bro. It was, it was a few, it was a few Instagram yeah. people on there. Yeah, yeah. 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 It was a few. One hundred percent. I, 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 I was thinking Mr. Nova was on that bitch. Yeah, Mr. Nova yeah, yeah. was there yeah, and, was. um, el, el chamaquito que tiene la foto en New York. Uh, Nova, Nova. Nova, Nova was there too. ¿Cómo se llama el, el enano? Pío, 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 but I think the stories are real. They just didn't have the real people. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's there's probably stories, and then they they personified the story in, in a yeah, way yeah, where it was act, entertaining. Act entertaining. Out. Yeah, they acted out. Yeah, exactly. which is pretty cool. But it's a negative, bro. Negative shit, bro. I mean, negative it's, energy, dog. For sure. I mean, I like, listen, it's 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 to, I think it's to block our minds in a way, right? Like you're sitting there, you get so indulged, you almost get hypnotized. Like, say for example. I throw Coco Melon on for my baby, right? And she, she'll she be sitting there, and I'm like, Annalise, Annalise, whatever the case. She's just in Melissa, bro, because the, the music, the colors, everything is hey. all part of the marketing. It's all about how it engages you. Did you know that the brain's lowest frequency is when you're watching TV? Wow. That Whoa. I did not know. I didn't know. I was... Yeah, I read that somewhere where like wow. the, 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 the human's lowest frequency is when you're watching TV. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's Whoa. crazy. But it, it's, that's where they get you, right? You, you're home. You, you're working through all day. You want to kind of escape from reality. And this is your escape. And sometimes it, it's, it relates to your reality. And maybe you're going through your issues and you could relate so well with whatever is going on in the show that you just like, yo, this is exactly in it. And now you feel for this character. I want to be this yep. character. Or you start picking up on the characteristics of this character. Yeah. But, um, Albert, uh, what, do you do, what do you do for a living? So I, I'm a graphic designer. So I, I design, I do a little bit of video animation. I do uh, web design. I do a little bit of logo, like a little bit of everything. But... My main thing right now is I do a little 3D animation where I'm in my position right now. So, este es loco que no tiene con lo low frequency. Yeah, este es loco que no tiene con I'm part of the low frequency. I study, I study. Él está hablando de vaina, pero él es que no está haciendo, digo, los muñequitos, la vaina, pero no está embelezado. Ey, ey, ey. Entonces, es el cheque. ¿Cómo tú vienes aquí a pelearme a mí? Que la televisión, y ahora dice que tú. Y tú eres que lo vas a hacer. Dice que tú eres que lo vas a hacer. ¿Cuál es la vaina aquí? Y es tipo, ¿qué haces? Con los hijos, con la broma, me estás robando, me estás tracando. <laughs> nah, it's, it's crazy, bro. Like, is it, what you said, right? You can't beat them, you join them, right? Like, no, yeah. no, question. Not nah, that, you probably don't you're, you're, do nothing. You're, nah, you're, in, nah, you're exactly. in that world, right? So, yeah. um, what are your thoughts on the impact that AI is going to start having on, like, Oof. on bro. just the human population? Bro, I mean... Do, you, here's the first question before you go into that. I, well, I want you to follow after that question. Are we going to get dumb or are we going to get smarter? Oof, you, you seen Wally? No, I've not seen Wally. All right, so Wally, and, and there's a part of the movie in Wally where, like, um, there's a bunch of people, they're really fat, and they're drinking, like, their big slurp, whatever, but they have all screens in front of them, and they're, like, on a chair, and the chair is floating them around. And they, throughout the movie, you, you notice that they only FaceTime or video time with people, and they don't really interact until Wally comes in, and he kind of disrupts the piece a little bit. Okay. He disrupts what is normal. And then what happens is people are starting to touch each other, starting to remember, oh, we're humans. Right, we don't need all these these, these technology things. I, again, I think AI is trying to simplify life, and that's what we're looking for. We're looking for simple. Why we have so much iPhone users? Because of the ecosystem, right? You have a phone, you simple have an truck. iPad, you have a you have a laptop. Everything is connected. I don't got to deal. With, you know what I mean? It's a headache. And then I could be ten years old. I, I can even be. Let's say even younger. We can be two years old and use an iPad fluidly. Like, no problem. Yep, no, that's correct. Right? My daughter knows how to do that shit. <laughs> my, da my daughter grabs her mom's phone. And she knows the app that she wants to use. She goes to yeah. YouTube Kids, plop. Or she no puede si está bloqueado. Ella me dice a mí, Daddy, fix it. Because mm -hmm. she knows. <laughs> you know the code. I don't, but you do. Fix it. 
<laughs> when you it turns off, before, when it used to die, before she used to be like, it's broken. Now it's like, charge it. Because I know it's dead, nigga. Mm-hmm. Charge it. Because I see you connect it every time. Like, I know what it is. And it's sure. crazy because the iPhone, it, it's the simplicity of the iPhone. Mm-hmm. And that's why people say, oh, the iPhone's better. It's technically, when you come to technology, it's not. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yes, I would agree. It's just simple. Yeah. So you give it to your grandpa, you give it to your grandpa, he's like, I don't know how to use this. Five minutes later, he he's, go. He going, he going through it like it's nothing. Because yeah. it's simple, it's simple. It's, simple. It's, it's point A to B. How do I get to point A to B the quickest way? And that's what AI is going to do for us. So to a point even like what designing is becoming like that, well, Photoshop has AI, right? Like now I can tell Photoshop, hey, I, I need you to do a reflection. Now I don't got to do all the extra stuff that I used to do. I all I got to type it in, reflection, and boom, there's my reflection. And I'm happy with it. And, it, and not only that, it gives me three options. <laughs> like, so exactly. now, I, now I have choices. Now I have choices. <laughs> and if you go really specific, it'll do it as close as you probably was going to do. Uh huh. Man, and, and then with your skill set and what you've learned already, you can modify it even a little more if you want to to make it even look more. So realistic. it's probably going to make, like, going, going to answer your question, is it going to make us dumber? Probably not all of us. Is it going to make the majority of us dumber and lazier? 100%. I think I think so. I think we're, we're gonna the majority. But also, this let's 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 impose this question too. Do you think our jobs are at risk because of it? Like, so here's my thought on that, right? So here's my first thought on the whether AI is gonna make us smarter or dumber. I don't think it's gonna make us dumber, right? I think that AI is gonna provide us with a tool that we didn't have before, right? So example, right? Before there was no thing as a Photoshop, we had Paint, right? We moved from Paint. The Photoshop, there's a bunch of other things that we could do on Photoshop. So did Photoshop make our job easier? Yes, it did, right? But did it make us dumber? No, not really. We just had to learn a new set of skills that now requires us and it makes it easier. It looks more professional and we have more options, right? So I think what AI is doing is that it's providing us a lot of skills to people who probably don't have skills in other platforms. Example, right? I struggle with copy. I struggle with copy. What you mean? Like with writing like descriptions, writing uh, writing things out. In other words, writing things out, right? Mm-hmm. The caption for a post, what da da. When I when I'm stuck, and I can't like personally come up with something, mm-hmm. literally, if I'm stuck for more than like five minutes, ChatGPT. ChatGPT oh, is. A I go to right ChatGPT yeah. and I literally ChatGPT generate a caption that describes this uh, this quote. It was mentioned by this person, and I need you to make it in a tone of voice that is professional and um and Instagram friendly. Boom. Brrr. And I literally, sometimes it turns it out, I'm like, another one. If I don't like it, another one, right? Mm-hmm. So in other words, hear me out. It's not that I'm dumber, right? It's that in, now that I knew, instead of me being stuck for two hours trying to come up with a good caption, right? Mm-hmm. I now could come up with a three, five new captions in less time. Because of the resources you because have. Because of the resources here, that I have. Here comes here so come my, my rebuttal. My, my thing is, is that people, <laughs> don't see. people just need to understand. Because the reality is, is that... Even though I'm coming up with those five captions, there's someone who knows how to use ChatGPT better than me and is going to come up with five better captions than me because they understand the system better than I do. For sure, for sure. And I'm and I'm going to it like this. You just said, I'm, I struggle with captions. Correct. I hand the guy a hell of money because of captions. Copywriters, yeah. Yeah. Right? 100%. If you could get at that level with ChatGPT, you know what that does? saturates the market and then the guy that was getting all that money his pay is gonna go down everybody gonna be being paid the same and you know what happens the same thing that happened in factories when they kicked everybody out we just gonna use the machines because we ain't gonna but, pay everybody but, but back to back to what i was saying back to what i was saying if someone who understands the system better than me is gonna get more in other words you see how i just came up with that little thing that prompt thing someone who's good with copy is gonna have a better prompt for chat TPT. 100%. But, but, but that's what I'm getting at. They are going to still be able to generate a higher quality of caption because of the skills that they have. What I'm doing now is that I struggle with one, right? So instead of me struggling for an hour, I just struggle for 10 minutes. Exactly. And you have, and you have AI. And I something. have, exactly. And I'm going to have something that's I right, cool. We could use this, right? There's going to be people who are going to be like, well, you know what? Yes, Nagel, chat GPT came up with this, but this is still not good enough for us. Mm. You see what I'm getting at? Yeah, but there's going to be people. There's also going to be companies. Oh, that are gonna, that, there's going to be companies that are going to be like, that is good enough. Oh, claro que oh, yeah, yeah, So I'm sure. just going to give this nigga the low money and fuck this guy. Yeah. For sure. But once again, that's that, that's a choice that everybody everybody makes today and yeah, before but, AI. But the problem is like, I'm going to see photographer. 
There's, that's a perfect example. There's a lot of photographers. Yeah, tons. Yeah, different, different a whole types bu- of photographers. A whole though. bunch yeah. of them niggas. Yeah, for sure. Right? Everybody that grabs an iPhone think they could be a photographer. Correct. Is an iPhone photo great? No. 100%. No, it is. It okay. is. It is. It's a great photo. But is it a great photo for a magazine? Hell the fuck no. No. Is it a great photo for your photo shoot for your birthday? Hell no. If you want something good. Yeah. Right? What happened is, I ain't paying nobody. I'm just going to do that shit with my phone. Mm-hmm. Now, if I could if I could just go to Photoshop, drop this shit, be like, yo, make this shit look professional. And that shit just does a whole bunch of bullshit and it makes it look professional. What does that happen? My job is done. Yeah, but but this is this is also this is also this is also and this might be personal to you, right? It's also about understanding the quality of your work. Like you could not tell me, Damon, that a picture that you've taken with your camera, with your knowing of lighting, with your knowing of what being like backlit is and where to put the lights in the right situation, is gonna be the same quality of a nigga who just took a picture with the iPhone. It's not uh, hold on, hold on. Okay. It's not it's not gonna be. So my thing is is that yes, is there gonna be people who are gonna be like, yo, you know what? I'm not gonna pay five hundred dollars to Damon to take these pictures. I'm gonna pay, I'm gonna pay my little cousin. $20, $30 to take the picture because they do a decent job. The reality is people will always make that choice. But when there's situations, when those pictures matter to you, you know what it is? I am not risking this $20. Damian, toma 600 para que haga un poquito mejor de lo que tú haces. Mm. I understand entendiendo? that. I get what you're saying. But what I'm trying to say is like, he's an illustrator. You could go on that other, not chat GBT, the other one. What and just be like, I don't know what what it's called. I, the I, one that I, does the pictures. Yeah, Del, I think it's and Del, you right? prompt that Del, uh, motherfucker. There's another one too. I forget what it's called, but and it's you, similar. You to You literally it. prompt it, and it does a. It's literally great, bro. And it gives you four. And you if you're paying for the program, you could put that on a shirt and make money. But you know what happens? It's like you're an illustrator. You on freaking um, what's it called? That that app on the on the iPad. Fuck. Procreate. 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 Yeah. You're drawing, bro. This is something that came from in here. You put it on a freaking thing and you show it to people. People see it. Right? You put it on your Instagram. Now I'm gonna, people see it. He's like, you know what I'm gonna do? They describe it to that thing. It's gonna prompt something close, if not the same. It's not gonna be the same because you obviously created, but it's gonna prompt something close. And I'm like, I'm not paying. I'm gonna you know, use this. Yeah, but you know sure. what it is? There's nothing you're gonna be able to do. I'm about not that. saying that there's nothing we we could. I know there's nothing we could do. What I'm trying to tell you is, if that saturates the 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 market, things are gonna get out of place. For sure. Yeah. Things are gonna but get then, out of but place. But thing is, like, but also remember, like, can we progress without being uncomfortable? No, one hundred percent, no. We have so to then, be so then, I think, I think there's also part of it, right? We're we're uncomfortable with it now, and then you know what's gonna happen? We're gonna get used to it, and then some other new shit's gonna come up, and we're gonna have the same conversation. It's just gonna disrupt our like our ecosystem, blah, blah, blah. and it probably <laughs> is, and it's it's just part of the cycle. Yeah, it is. Uh, okay, it I'm is, go, I'm man. going back to the we were talking about AI as a system and yeah. the computer. Right? Mm-hmm. Let's talk about AI with these goggles. Shit. That's uh, VR, uh, VR, 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 virtual reality. VR, VR, virtual reality. Right? I, think, I think that's that's gonna take over, man. I mean. At, I saw a video today. Some some dude was at the subway, and then it, it looked like he was at he he recorded. It was a filter. It was it wasn't even like a, the VR. It was a filter. And it looked like he was at he was like at some beach in Mexico, like beautiful like five star hotel, right? Beautiful. And then all of a sudden, it's the subway. It's like hey yo, like <laughs> what a catfish, bro. <laughs> That's facts. Well, here's here's the, here's the thing with VR, right? And um and maybe because this maybe because I'm a coach, I'm seeing it this way. Yo, VR when it comes to sports, it's gonna it's gonna. It's gonna it's going to add a different 100%. element. Tú sabes lo que tú puedes decir. Yo, I want Shell Tani to pitch to me for practice. And I'm a 10th Bro. grader. Or, 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 a ninth exactly. Grader. Right? And yeah. I'm a 9th grader in high school. <laughs> and all I'm doing home is taking bank, and I'm banking off of this guy. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. That confidence, your confidence level is going to shoot. So you see where I'm getting at? So I, like, once again. I get that. There's, 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 there's a lot of pros and cons in this I get thing. that. I think but when it comes to virtual reality, it could, it could go a whole bunch of good ways. Mm-mm. See what I'm saying? Like again, see how ChatGPT like it becomes something that is um, when it comes to whatever we're doing right now, it could be dam- damaging. I wanted to go into uh, VR because if we use ChatGPT and the other one and prompt everything together to be to create something for VR, cause something that we can't create yeah. ourselves, right? Without these platforms, mm-hmm. now we're on some other shit. See what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
I mean, you, know what I'm saying? you throw on some goggles and you don't even know where you're at anymore, right? Like, you can literally create a new oasis for yourself. And then it, let's put sound into it. We haven't even thrown sound into it. Like, we throw sound headphones on and then it could really manipulate where you're even at. Like, you have to literally sit down because you can fall. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> you, you, you know what? You know th- What was that movie? Was it like a runner? No, 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 no. It's player, uh, one? Player, player, player One? Ready Player yeah, One. Player it's literally one. called The Oasis, too. Yeah. Play- oh, the that, show, <laughs> the game, yeah. Right? So, like, that that's what I think about, right? Like, I think sometimes this is the like the, the negative side that I see about uh, that VR was too is that no, but the, this this is what I'm thinking about because the thing is like we we for the most part we're we are surrounded by people who are pretty confident in who they are, mm-hmm. right? Um, but my thing is like, what about that person who isn't social enough, mm-hmm. right? Now, do they now escape to this oasis and to now play, to, to be social to, to be social and yeah. be someone and create a character and be the person who they want to be? But in that. reality. But in reality, I'm right? Playing video games, people yeah. be cursing at you like they know tomorrow. But then when you see them in the street, they never talk like you. Yeah, they're like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so then that's my thing, right? So like then like my, my thing is like, what's the flip for that person who isn't capable of actually? I don't want to say m- m- like walking in reality, but like struggles to live their real life, right? Do they now like se refugian in this world that isn't real? You see what I'm getting at? No, no, exactly. It all depends on what level llegue ese mundo también, because. And in, in Ready Player One, that world was the world. Well, let's go back a little. Let's, let's combine our conversations that we were having earlier, right? We, we were talking about kids not going outside, mm-hmm. right? And because of fear of X, Y, and Z, mm-hmm. right? But now you're in a virtual reality where you don't have to have fear. Your you, safety. And, yeah, and then you could, it could be Grand Theft Auto, right? You got to, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And boom, you got to do life. You, gotta, you <laughs> lost everything. You got to just start all over. Yeah, yeah. So you, you, know you can take it like that, too. If, if it gets to that point, I don't know what, what, it, what it'll be like. Yeah, right, yeah. like that whole virtual, like Bitcoin and stuff like that. Are they gonna intertwine these things? Uh, that was the whole. That was the whole thing that they were saying a couple years back. Yeah, when we had, we had, we had this conversation a couple times, and and that was the thing. And in my head, I was like, that wouldn't make sense because everything is virtual. So if you're gonna buy stuff, like if we're gonna say, oh, first of all, it's not accessible. Being in a VR set is not accessible right now. It's too expensive. Yeah, yeah. It, it's too much money to buy a fucking VR set. And now that Apple is coming into the game, right? I actually want to buy one. That, that shit is three thousand five hundred. Yeah, it, but in how much? Three thousand five hundred. That's like a laptop price. 35. You gotta understand that's accessible for many people nowadays. Maybe not yeah. for a lot of people, but, but nowadays, a lot of people yeah. will have it. And yeah, they, yeah. And, they'll do anything to and, get it. And, and and since it's not a thing that you use with your, I phone, might just start doing that oh, sooner yeah. than I thought. And, <laughs> and if you don't, and if it's not something you, because you don't need your phone for it. It's a machine by itself. Yeah. See what I'm saying? No, no, for sure. And you could and you and you could literally use it and walk around. Like what they, what they're you can plan- create a TV, yo. What they're planning to do is make you use it and not take it off because you can see with that shit. Yeah. Bro, they, you put on the goggles and then you could put another TV in front of you. Like right. <laughs> you watching fucking Thor, Love and Thunder, or something. Yeah, and then, you, yeah, and you then you're like, "Fuck it, let's just make make believe I'm in the beach watching this shit." And it's just that screen right there floating, and then. Do delfine, digamos. Tirándose veces. Tirándose delfine. And then once a lot of companies are like, once Apple gets into it, and again, and we're going back to the ecosystem, once Apple is in the game, that game is real. Mm. And people think, oh, you're an Apple hater. I'm not an Apple hater. I just hate that people think Apple is the best thing in the world because you're trapped. Yeah. You're trapped. When you're in the Apple ecosystem, you're trapped. And if you don't have nothing else outside of the Apple ecosystem, that is it. They have everything that you know. Si tú tiras una foto en tu social, esa gente lo tiene. Si tú tienes, esa gente tiene todo. Yeah, yeah. Todo. El gobierno tiene todo. La compañía tiene todo. Yo no le tengo miedo a esa vaina. People say, oh, my, my information or whatever. Bro, if you've been living in the United States since 2000 and... When was it that the first iPhone came out? 2007. Around there, yeah. Around 2006. You've been living in the U.S. since 2007. You had a phone from there on out. Your entire life is in the internet. I remember when Every, they introduced the smartphone. Everything's in the cloud. It was in the news, right? The, the new smartphone, touchscreen, all this. I remember yeah, that, bro. Everything. That's crazy. I was in <laughs> eighth grade, bro. <laughs> yeah. Eighth grade and the first iPhone came out. Nobody cared about this iPhone. It had psychics and blackberries. And guess what? Your life was on those phones too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aim, aim was aim, 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 aim was messenger. Yeah, messenger we, was yeah. if, we, if, we, if we, if we, if we really think about it, on the timeline of the internet, we literally know the entirety of the timeline of the internet. Yeah, yeah, man. When it comes to public internet, because you know like the they used pig, it for yeah. war, they used it for war, and then it was 
Yeah, the, first, the first computer was the size of a room, right? Like yeah. it was huge. Yeah. Right? It, was, it was all military. I think a lot of things go through the military first. First, one hundred percent. It gets fun. Like that five G shit. All that, yeah, all that. yeah, that five G's been out for a while. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, a lot of things. Like even like the cameras. Like you, man, the organization I work for now, right? That the, the the intelligence, the AI behind our cameras, it's crazy. is insane. You can't do anything without getting away. If you think you get away with something, you're, you're not you're a fool. You get away because they may be letting you, or maybe you're not a, a person of interest. You're, yeah. not yeah. of interest. you're not of interest. You're not of interest. You're not of interest. You haven't done enough. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, people, you, you done okay, when, but when, not enough. When people, when people tell me, "Oh, I don't want the the the, the, the I don't want people um, tracking me and shit." And, I, and, I, and, my, and my head, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, do you use your GPS? <laughs> no. Yes. Okay. So your IP address on your phone, they know where it's at. Mm-hmm. So they I, know where it's at. Google knows. Uber knows. Lyft knows. Everybody knows. And if you have your Instagram, like, think Instagram knows. That means Facebook knows. Yeah. WhatsApp knows. Like, well, I, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Do you know why? Um, and this is. This is also probably stalkerish of me to say this, right? But I'm gonna say it. This is my theory as to why Instagram took away um, locations from your home from your home screen. I don't know. All right. If you noticed, where do you upload the most pictures? Oh, home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where though? Where are you located when you upload them? Home. 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 home or, or, yeah, yeah. Home. Or home bed, or in bed, whatever the case. All right. Be, yeah. Did you know that if you were to go to someone's like location things? And you zoomed in, and you can see like, oh, 20 pictures here, DR pictures. Ah. If you zoomed in where they had 3,000 pictures, you knew the block where they lived at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You knew the block where they lived at. Snapchat had that at one point, too, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Find, Snapchat find still friends. has it. Yeah. Oh, they they, they yeah, still have it. Because, but that, you can private it, though. You yeah, you can private it, though. But, but just think about it, right? So think about it. If somebody's stalking you, and they want to find you, they just got to be like, all right, cool. They live on this no, block. All I got to do now is chill on the block and wait till you go home. Yeah. You see what I'm getting and at? You pop, so, baby. You know and he got you, yeah. Or it could be you. a cop, whatever, the, whatever, who it is, whoever, whoever, whoever has the intent of finding you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I tell people all the time, bro, we are so small in the bigger scheme of this world and this government and other shit. You shouldn't be worried about if somebody knows your location. Mi hermano, man, look, I've always said it. Unless you have information. Si tú no eres un, un sicario, listen to me. Yo, yo una vaina. Me. Unless, <laughs> listen to me. Unless you don't have information that the government doesn't want people to I'm know. Hot. You were insignificant. The yeah, only yeah, nigga, the no only lie, nigga yeah. that pulled disappearing off was that nigga that snitched on the government and dipped. Uh-huh. And what, he went to Germany? Oh, Snowden, Snowden. Yeah. Snowden, yeah, and yeah. He, and they still don't know where my man's at. Nah, he's with Russia. And he's done interviews and everything. And every time you see him in the interviews, the darkest room in the world, bro. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, like, also, it's like, it's also understanding, right? He understands that, look, listen, if I put myself in this atmosphere or in this controlled environment, they won't be able to find me. But if I let that cortina be two inches to the right, they I'm caught. Where, I'm That's done. It, yeah. But the thing is, like, we don't have that knowledge. We don't know what the fuck My happens man knew within those two inches of that cortina. Yeah, but you guys seen the Wi-Fi now? The, the, the Wi-Fi can rebuild where you're at in the room without cameras. So now they can see through our walls through your Wi-Fi now. I don't know how you accept that, right? Like maybe when you start signing terms and conditions, but now they can determine. It's the okay, wave frame of the Wi-Fi. The wave frame, yeah. yeah. Like, so like the you know waves, how Wi-Fi doesn't cross a wall? Like, if the concrete wall doesn't go through it. It's That's crazy. why you have to put an extender, right? <laughs> it's all it's all ways, nigga. It's all ways. I, I, just figured, I just figured out in my head how to make figure out my room. Like, right, if it doesn't go through this wall, I mean, there's a wall there. No, but it, it doesn't. It goes, through, builds, it goes yeah. through these walls. Yeah, through these. It's going through a wall. Yeah. The other wall just bounces it right back because it's solid concrete. Yeah, because they know it's concrete this wall. Wood this is a sheetrock and, and, and shit. sheet rock. Yeah. They shit goes... No, no, for sure. And then, like, obviously, for, from the sound waves or our voice and all that stuff, every everything is being calculated. Everything is being calculated. And then you have your phone, who's, again, is another on algorithm. You. It's on you. Always. You People are pretty much... You have an Apple Watch. Bro, you, you they know where you at. <laughs> your it, it, car has a GPS in it. If you have a new car, if you have a Tesla, bro, Elon <laughs> know where you at. Yeah. <laughs> Elon will tap in on you one day. Elon will send you... Yo, yo Elon, Elon, because you don't want his company to go down. But if Elon really wanted to be an asshole, he'll text everybody on the Tesla. Be like, yo, I know where you at, but yo, I'm gonna pull it out it. right now. Stop it. Button. I'll turn off your, I'll turn off your car right now, nigga. Fuck, are you talking about? Talking about Elon. Talking about Elon. Everybody likes you. Like Twitter? Yeah, I, I sometimes. Yeah, you yeah. Like Twitter? I never had it. I'm never. Had it. I, I'm, I'm never. So today, right now. what happened? Today, Instagram dropped a Twitter competitor. Mm. By the way, what's it Instagram again? Threads. Bum, bum, bum. Yes. It's literally, it's literally Hold Twitter. up. It's literally Time Twitter. out. This is, this is something I need to do yeah. for work now. It's Hold up. Twitter. What's my phone now? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean. Look, look, look. Five Threads. You see that? Yeah. Oh, oh he already, he already of on course, it. Of course. I was honest. I was honest. <laughs> them niggas announced Yo, send, send to me. Send to me. I need it. I need it. I need it for work. It's literally Twitter. But it's called what? Threads. 
Threads. Instagram. Oh my God, it's over. Right here, boom. Send me that. Send me that. Send me that. Send me that. This download it. Threads. I don't even know where my phone's at, bro. This nigga. See, they don't know where I'm at right now. Threads, right? <laughs> right, bro. They are not. I saw. I saw the announcement. Yesterday, I was like, what the fuck Instagram trying to do? I'm not a Twitter guy. I'm not a Twitter guy either. And I'm not a Twitter guy because it's hard as hell to get to Twitter followers. Yes. But, but also condition. But, but it's also but, something you got to maintain all day. Twitter is like, people want to see your updates. It's like one thing, like tweet, 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 tweet. You know what I mean? Like that's but the if, point of it. But if my Instagram followers are going to follow me on thread, bro, I don't need to do anything. Ooh. Yeah. Hold on. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Like tell when tell you me. get into threads, it tells you, do you want to follow everybody that you follow on Instagram? Oh, yes. smart. And just say yes. And boom. I'm not going to go through one by one. Yes. Follow everybody. I don't give a fuck. That's what AI I already is. follow you on. I already follow you. <laughs> I already follow you on Instagram. Interesting. See what I'm saying? Mm. I'm about to get a promotion right now. Yo, can I get my phone? <laughs> That's Yo, what I'm saying. My like, phone has to be somewhere. Elon around here, Musk <laughs> fucked up Twitter so bad that Instagram was like, oh, we going to oh, we gonna capitalize on this. You know, Instagram is stealing everything, bro. Them niggas is the Yo, where is Negro's phone? That's the question. Yes, I said, yo. Let's call Negro. Let's call Negro. Yeah, I, I need my phone, yo. No, this is serious. Like, this is like, this is like, this is like, this is for like Negro to get a promotions. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm going to be like, my fucking. No, that's what I'm doing. No. Está bien, después del podcast lo, lo buscamos. Olvídate del mundo. So, so when it comes to shit like that, it's like, bro, like, fuck, now there's another app. But now, if you really think about it, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, and Threads. If you're on all four, like myself, yeah, mm-hmm. right, them niggas know you, bro. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah they sure. about the third thirty-two. Is <laughs> they know they've seen they've yeah. seen what you've gone through in your life. You yeah. was this way. They know the, they know your entire <laughs> family. You know, people, yeah. you know when people on TikTok and they, and they, the TikTok tells you how old you are, and they're like, "How the hell do you know, nigga? You put your birthday when you signed up. Oh, yeah, Google memory, like, right? like are you stupid, memory? nigga? Like, are you dumb? Like." You put your birthday when you signed up. It says birthday. You put the birthday. Yeah. So wh- what What you think is going to tell you? That you're 55 when you're 32? <laughs> it's going to tell you you're 32. We voluntarily have given people this access, right? We voluntarily. And they've made it. So we it's fun, right? They were like, oh, this is a social account. You put a, put all your business on here. You can only get, follow the people you want. You can even make your account private. But how private truly is it to the people who have access to mm. the back end, right? Mm-hmm. right? So. Okay. Um, Espérate, let's. Tengo otro top five. You have another one? Top five? No, top five. ¿Qué te gusta la música, verdad? De vez en cuando. ¿Qué música te gusta más? What you listen to the most? So, so I've gravitated. I've gravitated. I right eat. now, what are you listening to the most gospel. right now? I listen to gospel. Right gospel yeah, music. Yeah, okay, give gospel. me your. Oh, this is good. This is good. This is good. I don't good. have gospel. I don't, I don't got gospel either. So I need, good. I need a top five. <laughs> a good top five. Give me your top five gospel artists. I don't even know. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go with songs then. You know the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna so, go with top five right, songs. Cool, cool. I'll pull them up because because I because I have them. <laughs> it's it's a, it's like um I started listening to God because the thing was I started I, I would listen to a lot of like let's say like Arsenal like Sue Surf I I really like that type of music mm-hmm. right? like just. They're from this area too, like a couple blocks down. Ellis Ave is right there, yeah, right? Yeah. Like, they, they, they used to chill down the block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's 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 something that I grew up kind of seeing, right? And um and hearing their music, it just reminds you a little bit of like where you're from and nostalgic. Yeah, yeah, kind of like and it, 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 it's not even nostalgic. You just want to hear the stories to see where we are. I like the wordplay. I like the story. I like the punchlines. I think it's, it's creative. I, I really enjoy that. So. When it came down to the world music, right? Like that, that's what I would like to listen to. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dave East. Um, then you have uh, then some some regulars, right? Like like Tupac, Biggie, Nas. These guys, right? The the, the original, the, the lyricists, yeah, the lyricists, right? So it's storytellers. I, I'm gravitated a lot to that type of music where people are telling stories because one, I can either relate to it, or two, it's just something like wow, like that wordplay was so dope. Like I re- like how do you even sit down and think about so who do you, what persona you have to get into? To, to even get, get, into to, get this. to that place, right? Like something is so brutal. How many stories did yeah. you listen to? <laughs> yeah. Even if you're not involved, what did your homie tell you that he did? You know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. Like what kind of darkness you're in? You got to understand you are what you in the eyes of the tunnel to your heart. So the things that you see, and also what you hear, right? Like so, if you consume this daily, 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 you start to personify it in a way where you don't even want to. The way you dress, the way you walk, the way you talk, mm-hmm. everything. You start to become what you think that you're not becoming but it's literally just little like raindrops every single day i wake this. up this is the first thing i bump to you know what i mean or, or i'm on my way to work this is what i'm bumping to so now i'm at work and i'm i have an aggression towards me at work right yeah. so i grab i shifted away from listening to music in that manner mm. um i i listen to music 
I, I don't say I completely. Yeah, you just don't listen yeah. to it as often. Exactly. I, I, I don't. I you don't, still I, dabble into it. Let me let me listen to some Davies real quick. Exactly. Yeah. I'm, oh, that, I'm oh, in that energy. Oh, so right I'm in through that. Whatever can, you know. Yeah, <laughs> whatever yeah, whatever yeah. we're feeling into in, in the moment, or some dembo, whatever the case may be. You know, what I mean, we have family. I'm not gonna put gospel music. It's not everybody yeah. gonna be comfortable with that, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, we all gonna be sleeping by the. Yeah. Yo, but yeah, but when you're in the spirit, like say like me when I'm praying and stuff like that. I listen. That, it it, 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 it rouses me up. It, yeah. yeah, it makes me happy. And then I, I, I speak a different language. I, I flow differently in a sense. Like now, a word of God is coming out of me in, in a different manner. Where I'm understanding it, I'm, I'm consecrating it, I'm living it, and I'm able to walk with it. Right. However, it's, it's very, it's, it's, it's not always easy mm. to do that. To, yeah. to make that walk and to take that path, it's very difficult, man. But the gospel, we'll, we'll go back in. Cinco canciones. Yeah. Man. Um, like a cinco que tú me oye. Uh, I've been through it all by mistake. No, no, so Jesus Adrian, he, he, Jesus Adrian Romeo, he, I, I think he's he's really good at what he does. Oh, you listen to these in Spanish? Yes, yeah, in Spanish. So ah. I, I I connect with it a little more in Spanish. I I listen to some guy like say like there was a have you guys seen the movie Harriet? Harriet, no, no. Nah, so it's about Harriet Tubman. Um, oh yeah, yeah, I seen that movie. Yeah, so if, if you guys didn't know, Harriet Tubman was actually they called her Moses, right? Because she she fred people, but she actually used to. Out of nowhere, just drop in the middle of running and ask for the Holy Spirit to guide her, or the Holy Spirit would guide her, and she would just drop in the middle of people for chasing. Think about that. Think about somebody chasing you with dogs, about to kill you, about to about to lock you up, yeah, 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 everything about to get you, and you just out of nowhere, you just you just stop like guys, you just go chill real quick, and I would do a little prayer, whatever the case would be, yeah. or, she'll, or she'll just pass out, and she'll find a way. Like God will reveal the way to her. Um, through waters where there were alligators, right? You gotta understand she's coming from the south, so there's alligators in the water, whatever the case may be, crocodiles, and she's walking through, and she finds a way in darkness, right? She's never left. She never left anyone behind, mm. and she left people in the Civil War. She was a commander. She was a chief, bro. She, a woman, a black woman at that, to do that, and she was guided by the Holy Spirit. I think that's very beautiful. We, we kind of avoid that in, in history, but it's true. No, yeah, the history, yeah, let's yeah. not history, talk about you know, we, Let's not talk about history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's not yeah, talk about history. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to get mad and I'm going to get into that <laughs> negative energy. You yeah. know what I mean? We don't want to get away. Because history be bugging, bro. No, no, history's history is bugging. History yeah. bugging. And then I, when, I say, when I say history be bugging, it's the history that they teach that be bugging. You yeah, know for saying? sure, for so sure. We not gotta, that's why history was like my, like I, every time I heard a history class, I was just like, yo, this shit boring, which means something ain't right. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Like, because math was not boring to me. Mm. Science is not boring to me. Why is only history boring to me? But then I see I grew up and I'm in love with documentaries that tell me everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in my head, I'm like, something wasn't right in high school. Oh, you got to think about like the history book. It had I, when I was in middle school, it had a white man as an Egyptian. At the cover. With blue eyes. And at the cover. Too. At the cover. You know what I mean? The cover is a white man. <laughs> One, but you know what I mean? It's like, who's and right? But the thing is, that. That, first of all, I think I, I always t t say this. There's two things to this, right? There's the who's writing the book. Mm -hmm. And who's what's the mission behind the person who's writing the book, mm -hmm. right? Unfortunately, in the educational system, there isn't enough funding for some reason to get new history books. So... Uh, there, there was actually there was actually there was actually a viral post of a history book that had the father write his name because you know how you had to write your name on the on the first cover. Yeah. So the father had written his name on the book as a first cover, and like twelve or fifteen nah. names down, the son was writing his name. Wow. Nigga, like I'm getting chills just talking about it. Yeah. Like it's crazy the fact that these. I don't want to say books, but this information isn't updated for new kids to absorb the, what I don't want to say history that matters, but history that is closer to what, the living, that what they're living. Ha history that was not shared, bro. Mm. It's not that history, that, it's not that the history that they're teaching us doesn't matter. We understand that it does. Uh -huh. No, we do understand that it does. No, I'm not saying that doesn't matter. I I'm going to be honest with you. This, what, might, what, this, what, this might be very ignorant of me, but I don't give a fuck about the fuck George Washington was doing. What like I, what, I'm what can what can I really why well, am I going to war? I'm not gonna go to war. That's not that's not the lifestyle that I'm living. Yeah, yeah. You see what, what, what I'm trying yeah, to yeah, tell yeah, you yeah. is like it's cool that they tell you that. But tell me everything. I mean, like yeah. No, tell me everything. What I want to know doing? everything. Yeah, what else was he doing that what was he doing for real for real? But also you have to understand that at that time, you know, the capturing of information wasn't as accurate. Not everybody was writing everything down. Everything is like a he, she, she said, you know, so then don't write it. Yeah. Yeah. 
But you, yeah. say for example, like um, don't don't call this book U.S. history because it's oh, not U.S. Hold history. on, time, time, I want to go back to these five uh, yeah, the gospel songs. songs yeah, yeah, yo, come song, on, bro. Song, song. So, all right, so I so I listened to uh, Mi Universo. So who's like it? God is my world. God, who I, sings that? Who sings that? Uh, Jesus Adrian Romeo. Jesus so, Adrian Romeo. Rom, Romero, something Romero, like that. Yeah. Um, ¿Qué sería de mí? Um, me dice que me ama. Espérame, and uh, tú estás aquí. Y tú estás aquí. I, I really like those. They, those, like, are, those are the top five. Yeah, yeah they kind okay. of rotate. They, they rotate them in my playlist. And uh, man, I listen to them in the morning, and I get to work, bro. I'm focused. Uh. Energia, my mind, I'm it's not even about that. Yeah, it's just about like the fo- like just my mindset. Where is that in the day? Like I start my day with God versus Dembo or or or, or Osuna or, or Romeo, whatever. Here's here's my question: Is that what 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 drove you there? So it's crazy, man. Um, what drove me there was my wife. So um, I proposed to her, and she told me I have to finish my sacrament. I I, I didn't grow up in the church. That that wasn't my thing. You know what I mean? My mom gave me a choice. She said, "You want?" I was like, "No, I don't. I don't find interest in it. I don't think I need to be there. Whatever. I believe in God, but I don't need to bow my knees to a man. Whatever the case may be." Yeah. Um, and she just basically my my wife brought me into that where like you say, well, if you want to do this with me, you have to. You have to take these sacraments, right? And man, it took me on a journey because I, I did my wife dirty, man. Like I, I wasn't the honest man. I wasn't a good man. I, I, I lied to her. I manipulated. I, I had jealous eyes towards her when it was all my fault, mm. right? Like these, these, these are powerful things to recognize in oneself to rectify them, right? And like I started to realize this as I started to walk through these scriptures, and I started to realize where I'm at as an individual. Um, in my mind and where I need to grow from and where I need to, to become a husband and to become a man that's going to lead a family. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, a, I'm a man of a family now. I have to protect my wife and my daughter. Right? I have to feed I them. Go yeah. Also, I have to feed them. I, th- th- there's need to be food on the table. So I have to be responsible in everything that I do. Right? Like, um, so any little, like now my chest pieces are big. Yeah, and yeah. Now I'm moving. The, the board the, is bigger. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The, now I'm moving my knights and, and, and my bishops. Right? There's no more Not pawns. Just pawns yeah. There's no more pawns. Pawns, I did that when we were in college. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. You and we had fun, moves, man. Yeah. And, and yeah. 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 They used to call me freak, you know? Yeah. We, we, yeah. we used to move all the pawns. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, and, and I lied to a lot of people, man. I did a lot of people terribly wrong. And um, that's kind of part of my reason, right? Like taking this journey because I, I, I want to come back to the place where I used to be and showcase the man that I am today, right? Like, Versus the man I was. I'm not. I'm. I'm the same. I'm gonna. Ha- I'm gonna have fun with you. I'm gonna laugh with y'all. Whatever the case may be. But, but I also you, come with. You a have controls. Lesson. You have other stuff that you're yeah, more focused yeah, yeah, on yeah. and all that shit. I've, I've evolved a little bit I, um, to mature and for the betterment of myself. Now I can't put this on anyone. I can't say, "Yo, do this or do that." No, but am I gonna be an example? A hundred percent. One hundred percent. You guys have the right to have an example, and I have the right to have an example too. So. Here we are, man. We're 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 learning from each other. We're growing from each other. The fact that you guys even allow me to come here is big, right? Like, I, I it's something where we're not technically even like I'm not part of this organization anymore, right? And st- here we are still. You know, what I mean, talking like brothers, like nothing ever changed because that's what we are. We're brothers. The shit really never changed. Yeah. 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 Never before, before we before we yeah, get there, yeah, before, yeah, before, yeah, yeah, yeah. before we get there, before so, we get there. So <laughs> now now here's here's my thing with this journey, right? Yeah. Like, what's the wh- like? Yes, your your wife guided you in a, in a direction, right? But like, what's this? You could take the horse to the water, but the you know if the if the, if the horse don't want to drink, he's not gonna drink. You yeah. sure it? But like for you personally, what was that turning point where you're like almost like that epiphany of like, wow, like this is a life that I should have been doing, or this is a life that I actually want to start doing? Like, what was it in your? What was the thought? What was the moment? Like where you just kind of just made that that switch where you're like, yo, not a church, yo, this is what I really want to be doing right now. Yeah, yeah. So, um, COVID hits. Mm-hmm. hits and I was doing my sacraments. We were going through the sacraments. And what are the sacraments again? So um, it's you go through you you go to baptism. I already I was already baptized, but I needed to get um, confirmed and um, and I think confe- uh, confession. I don't really know the. I'm not great at the the whole the thing. La, la confesión, el, el, el confirmation. La, la uh, primera comunión. La primera yeah, comunión. Yeah, there we go. First communion and, and yeah. confirmation. There yeah. we go. Yeah. So I needed to do that. Um, and I, as, I, as I'm going through that journey, COVID kind of stops that we're no longer able to meet. And I start missing the lessons that I was learning. Not that they were deep. They were very, they were very like, kind of like just border, like tip of the iceberg type thing. Okay. And it was up to me to dig deeper. So they had given me a Bible. I actually have it with me. It's, you should see it. It's beat up. <laughs> 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 I'll show you guys later. But um, is I start, op- I opened that Bible 
And I start reading and I start reading and I start reading. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. Like, uh, I'm getting in. It's, it's like, it's like I finally got taken to, to, to the fountain of water and I started drinking and it was my thirst was being quenched and everything that I was learning. Why? Because I was, I was seeing these words and they were making complete sense to me. But what made me really, really like confirm myself. Um, so what happens is um, I get confirmed. Um, and I was very into my spirit, like into the spiritual world. Like I, I was very into like, oh, like I believed it with my heart. Um, and something happens to me. Like, and, and this is this may sound crazy or out of the right. Like I actually had like a like a vision where where I see I see Jesus. All right, like like people can say, oh, how are you crazy? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but obviously the conversation we have, you guys see that there's no insanity in my brain. Yeah. My mind is saying I come here sober. Yeah. And you guys see that I'm concentrating yeah. on what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, so. And what the message that was given to me was that you shall bring many to my feet. You shall no longer fish for who you were fishing for. And you shall now, now you shall fish for me. So um, a couple weeks later, um, in the church, they're saying, oh, we don't have enough teachers and stuff like that. So then I, I volunteer. I've been able to bring about 75 kids over to confirmation since then. Right, like, and I've 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 been blessed to be uh, the godfather of many people, and, and this is all God already had told me this. These things were going to happen, right? Um, and even more so. My mother-in-law, she, she's she been very into faith, and she was big on that. Um, she told me, you have something in your wallet that isn't of God, and you meet with people that that, that is not of God. Um, and I was like, what do you mean? And she was like, you're doing, you're doing things that don't worship the Lord. So I'm like, okay. So she said, there's something in your wallet. It's a piece of paper. And it was a piece of paper my big brother gave me, Gary. Mm -hmm. And it said, pow on it. And it said power on it, and um, I took it out, and, and and that was holding me right, like the, that 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 was like a connection. So I, I take this piece of paper, and she she tells me rip it up and throw it away, um, and but that confirmed it. She 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 didn't know she doesn't know anything about this organization or what we do, how we do it, you know what I mean, or, or what we did, right? Mm -hmm. So when she told me that, I'm not saying that organization is evil. Yeah, I'm saying I'm not saying that you no, you know, yeah. you know I, I want to clarify that yeah. in no shape or form. Like there's no, I don't think that there's anybody. <laughs> no, no, yeah, 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 it's. The roots of it, the roots of it, um, that, that where, where does it come from and where does it gravitate? What's the center of this? You know what I mean? So um, the center was in God and God needed me to be fully focused on him, right? Love, you can't love two masters. Okay. Either you're going to love one the more and the other one's going to contradict the other. They're going to con they're gonna yeah, fight bump against into you. Each other, yeah. Right? You can't love, you can't say I love, I, I love, I love money and then, and then um, you say that, you, I don't know, I don't even know how to put, put it in. Um, I don't even know how you to can't say you love money and then you love peace. Yeah, it's not exactly. Yeah, 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 it not they don't something go like that. Yeah, it, 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 it's, it's two something things that learn. that don't click, right? Like, like money and God, right? Like, say because money could be your God, because money is one of the only things that could really transfigure itself and give you what you want, mm. right? Like, if you have enough money, you could get the you could get your nice fancy car, you could get your nice house, you get the women or men, whatever you into, whatever you into. Mm. Um, look at the Elon Musk and these guys, what they don't have. Their reality could be whatever they want. Right. Um, so it's just that perspective. And then I when I started to realize that I loved the organization I was part of so much that I did everything and anything for them. You know, what I mean, like um, I, I would get a call. I was there. Right. I, I, I got in trouble many times because of it. I've got arrested because of it. Right. Um, I didn't hear nobody from Nationals reach out to me, make sure I was good. Yeah. You know, what I mean, so it's just things of that nature that I started to realize. It, and I go, OK, this is something I need to separate myself from. Now, with, with 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 that, I guess that question I just is a perfect lead on. So I'm assuming was that the turning point that then drives you to say I need to drop my letters? Yeah, well, yeah, it was her her her, her testimony to me, right? What she told me. The ne very next day, I dropped my letters. I reach out to Sleepy, my man Sleepy. I love. <laughs> shout out Sleepy. Yeah, shout, shout out, out Sleepy. Sleepy. <laughs> Sleepy's the legend. Wake up, wake up. Yeah, yeah, Sleepy's yeah, a legend. Wake up, Sleepy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's somewhere. He he gonna be listening. <laughs> um and. He, he 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 didn't want me to right obviously uh, sleepy yeah and, and that's yeah. and that's a tough one because you're home right yeah it's home. you're not you're, you're not just another brother you're you're from his chapter yeah, 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 he yeah. saw you come up he saw the work that you did so yeah no for sure man and um that's where it was difficult man you guys know how much what, no no one hundred percent yeah it was tough it was but I had to show God I loved him more than I loved this organization but did I turn my back on any of my brothers no no no, no. did I separate myself from from crowds yes. Yes, but that was because I needed to better myself because I was influenced by that crowd heavily, and I loved that crowd. And I and I, I if I could be with that crowd now, I would every single day because those those group of people were so amazing to me, right? And they still are. I can reach out to any of them, 
Like, negro, I mean, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, 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 and it, and it's the same exact love, no matter what, um, because we've gained that respect and that level of memories that we have together. Um, that's not forgotten. However, I needed to transfigure myself so I could identify who I am to figure out who Halbert is, not what I've been molded to be. You know what I mean? Because obviously, I, like I said, I, you, you consume what you see, right? Like, and you want to be this persona. I want to be tough. I want to, that's what we promoted, right? Like, yeah. So that's what I wanted to be. And I said, I had to separate myself a little Just bit. to make shit clear, people. Just <laughs> to make shit clear. You know what I'm saying? The letters did not make us brother, bro. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The letters are the way we became brothers. Yes, yes, yes. Doesn't make us brothers. You know what I'm saying? Because this is the path that led us to meet each other. Yeah. Not yeah. me and him, because obviously we yeah, brother, brother. we're, we're, yeah. we're brothers. We're brothers. Man, I used to see this guy in a club where he was like 90 pounds wet, bro. <laughs> right. Right. We we done community service together before I was a brother. Yeah. We did yeah. all that stuff together. You was and, a brother before you even and, played, and, and then and then <laughs> you become close with these people that are in your fraternity, sorority, whatever, uh science club, whatever the hell you do, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And when one decides to leave that organization, if you stop being that person's brother, they were never your brother or sister. Mm. That's that's a fact. Mm. They were never your brother or sister. To the day that this man is still walking on this earth, he could be with seven Bibles in the car. Yeah. And if I'm not a a, a part of his religion, that is not going to change the perspective that I have on him because I know him. Mm. Right? So if he comes to my crib and be like, yo, can I read a scripture to your daughter? My boy... Read that scripture, bro. <laughs> Go right ahead. Go, Go right read ahead. it. <laughs> Just because I don't follow the the religion doesn't mean yeah. I'm going to block the religion from what my daughter might want to do in the future. That's her life. Yeah, and, and a little bit on that, like, religion could be very deceptive too, right? Like, 100%. So I'm, I'm big on following the word of God, Jesus. Right? Like, do I go to a Catholic church and worship? Yes. But there's a deeper meaning behind the words. Cause a lot of times people are sitting there and they become pawns. They just sit there and they don't know what's going on. There's been people in the, in the religious system for years and years. And they, they think that it's just rules and just regulation. Or I, I do a hundred Hail Marys or I do a, something, our fathers and I'm this good person. No, it's deeper than that. It's much deeper than that. It's, it's the so, actions. It's just not the words. So here's, yeah, go, go, go here's my question to this, right? Yeah, yeah. Here. How is it? That you know this, this journey that takes you to God, right? Um, you, cause this, in no disrespect, right? No, no, no like, absolutely not. At a certain extent, does it almost feel like you had to pick yeah, between yeah, sure. one or two? Yeah. And my thing is like, why is it that you can't love something as powerful as you love Him? You see what I'm getting at? Yeah, Cause, yeah. Because my my thing is is like, like I'm the I'm I'm really big on the on the loving part, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah. and and I think that one thing that I don't think we should do to one another is kind of like almost like pick and choose, mm -hmm. right? Because I don't think it's fair on both ends. I think it's more of like, like if it comes from your heart to be like, you know what? I no longer want to do this because I want to do this. Then yes, mm -hmm. you're. I, but my thing is like. Force. Like, for, like, like, like my thing is like, and, and let's say like this was a sign from God that sent you, right? Like, why was that sign sent when you could have just discovered that yourself? You yeah. see what I'm getting mm -hmm. at? Like, mm -hmm. that's that's my thought process now, right? And this is also my interviewer type of question, right? It's like, you know, why couldn't have you just discovered it yourself and you've been like, you know what? I love this, but right now my time and my energy and my love needs to be dedicated to to my fraternity because the same thing like with a family like, right and i think as an undergrad i was very unfair to a lot of uh grad of uh, you know alumni right where i was like yo you're not putting in enough time but the reality is is like yo when you start building a family i'm sorry but line up to the fight sorry you're not first anymore you sure yeah. i'm getting it yeah. so i think it's like you know for when it comes to like the religion right i always wonder like People have this moment. They, so I feel like some, everyone, everyone has that story, right? But I always question, and this is probably my relationship with God, right? Because me and him, like, there's days where I believe in him, and there's days like, manito, pero por qué está pasando tal cosa? Like, you see what I'm getting at? Yeah. So my thing is like, why is it that oh, that moment happens where you have to pick when in, I feel like maybe you can come to a, uh, a light where you're like, you know what? 
I love this, but now I'm moving on to something else. You mm-hmm. sure I'm getting it? No, no, I, I completely get where you're at, and uh, and it's and it's great that you bring that up because we do have a choice. We have water and fire right before us, and we have choice to pick fire. Or we have choice to pick water, right? And what I mean by that, fire is destructive, right? When you put when you set things aflame, it, it goes into ashes, right? But water gives life to things. Right, water gives. If you put water in a, in, in a plant, it's gonna grow, right? And then that plant will bear fruit. So, what I'm trying to say deep down is that there's something that's gonna lead you to to a certain point, and then there's another choice that's gonna lead you to another point, right? Like, it, Lambeth Theater Five was amazing to me. Like, I God put me there, right? But I used to salute the devil, right? The devil's domain, right? Like that, that, yeah. that was right. Like even though it was it was hypothetical, I was still doing something. I was still messing with forces I didn't had no clue because I wasn't educated, nor was I understanding enough to understand what I was messing with, right? Like you guys, listen, we come from a country. We, I'm I'm Dominican, right? You got Dominican, yeah. and there's witchcraft, right? Like you guys know, yeah. brujeria. Yeah, those are forces. Those are forces that we don't understand because there's certain people that deal with that force, right? Mm. But they could do tremendous things. They could do things that you're like, whoa, like you know what I mean? Like I, I've heard some stories that 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 make my heart stop, right? Like and 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 even seen some things. It's just like it's it's pretty intense, right? So this is a very dangerous world to walk into, um, to carry your cross to to start doing this. But I couldn't make the decision on my own because even when I decided to walk with God, I failed. Like I, I was still I was still doing things that I wasn't supposed to. I still lied. I, I was still quick to anger. I was still um, arrogant. I was very. Um, I, I thought myself prideful. I thought I knew it all. I, even even with the scriptures, I started learning it very very fast. I pick up on things very quick. And I was debating with people way older than me, like, "Yo, you're no, no. This is this is what this says." Very arrogant of me versus being humble and having a humility to me where I listened and said, "Okay, let me process this, even if I don't agree." Because my job is not to judge. Who am I? I'm dust. Exactly. I'm going to die and we all about exactly. Palo Gusano. <laughs> right. So I'm nobody, but God is like before us, the word of God was being taught, right? Years and years. And before our parents and our parents' parents, the word of God was being taught. When we die, the word of God is going to be, it's going to be taught by me or by whoever. It doesn't matter who it is. Right. So what I'm trying to say is that word is so true and so real that it's been passed down through generations like we can learn from it. We can learn from it. And you don't gotta pick that. You don't gotta completely be that. Per- but give it some time, and and, ma- and maybe you'll learn something. And you'll start to pick. Then you'll start to eliminate things from your life because you start to see. Oh, this this brings burdens to me. This brings financial problems. This brings issues in my marriage. This this puts me in situations that I just can't control because they get out of control, right? Like so, if I'm putting myself in these situations and I'm putting myself in these, I'm making the choice to pick fire. I, cause I know my wife is gonna get mad. Now I gotta lie. Now I gotta figure out a lie. Now I gotta hit up my boy like, yo, yo, tell I was with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 stuff like that. And 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 it's just the the life that I, that I decided to walk away from. Now, here and here's my last one. Do you think that if your chapter's name wasn't the Devil's Domain, you would have had a different reaction to it? No, no, I I, I would have done. Cause regardless of the matter, the roots of it, no, no good, no good fruit will come from a bad tree. And let's go down all the way to the root. And that's Gus. Oh, man, <laughs> How many people like Gus? Not many. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and we know why. Because because of the things that he did. Right? And the things that we know that he did. Right? There's many of us that we've done. We do evil to our brothers. Man, how many of us looked at our brothers? I mean, I, you know what I mean? Like our brothers' women. Right? Like we, we, we probably all been down. I'm, I'm not saying you guys, but... You know what I mean? We've, uh, I know a few. Cro- cro- uh, yeah, we've yeah. crossed some lines. I know, I know a couple. Of people, I've crossed I, some lines. Uh, I've crossed some lines, and I and I and I and I admit it. You know what I mean? And I, yeah. I and I pray that that those brothers forgive me or whatever the case may be. But we've all crossed lines in some shape or form, right? And it's how to, how do we rectify that? How do we we mend those relationships and and call that person my brother? And I'm giving you a hug. I'm giving you my back, but I I'm, I'm gonna stab you in your back because you introduce someone that is called of interest to me. You know what I mean? I feel that. You know what I mean? And that's in any situation. It doesn't have to be about the yeah. fraternity. It's just, it's just who, any situation. Any, yeah, any, yeah. Who, who are you surrounding yourself so, with? So, okay. So then with that being said, you, you you think this was more of the the culture that we were we were living in that was more of the negative than the fraternity itself? No, no, no. Um, The fraternity like like itself, like the, the covenant that we make with the organization. I believe in. Okay. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and uh, would you die for... Yeah, from the very beginning, yeah, you're no longer referred to as negro or yeah, or, or, or exactly. You refer to this, so we completely dismantle what 
is normal to us. Put us in an uncomfortable situation to make us comfortable in the situation. Mold us to what they want us to... Boys, right? Like, trying to mold yeah. other boys, right? And then we, we're saying, oh, you got to be a man of this, and now you're shedding... You're walking towards the brown, like that lambda light, right? Yeah. So you got to realize the symbolisms that we're living through within the process that becomes so indulged in our brains that we wear brown, we wear, we, we represent it. So we passionately salute, man. I mean, every organization, every, every chapter has like even, even like tough names, right? Like, cause nobody wants to be angelic and nobody wants to be yeah. Holly, right? It's all is less, um, what the loss was, right? Like, 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 uh, Alpha chapter, the terror dome, right? Like the Gothic Rapid dungeons, magic, yeah. you know, darkness, everything is dark. Like, like there's no hiding it, right? Like, yeah, but we, we embrace it. We yeah. embrace it and we feel proud. We say it pride we, we're yeah. proud of that right so it's like hmm should i be proud of this like like am i like do i look sillier like shouting out the devil like ah, like a full-blown or preaching the gospel right like i used to get a round of applause when i when i when i finished my salute and now I, i'll put something on on, on social media or whatever the case may be a post and maybe people are, are chit-chatting and like hey, look at this man he, he's a fanatic now he's crazy he's right laughing at me and i'm okay with that I'm, I'm, I'm you gotta over. take that. Yeah, you gotta that, go with your punches. Again, that's the decision that you've made, and you know you gotta do what you gotta you do. Yeah, when scripture says, "Yo, before they hated you, they hated me." The world has hated me. Jesus says, "The world has hated me." Think about it. Before I even heard about Jesus, we already hated him. <laughs> like mm-hmm. even I probably hated him at some points, right? Like like contradicting and, try, and going into that sense of, of of like why this or why that, right? Like those questioning, and it's we have freedom of choice. God gave us that from the very beginning. He gave us freedom of choice. You have the ch- choice to do whatever you want. However, these are the consequences. What you said earlier, yeah. you said to yourself, you're going to give your daughter, you're going to say, these are the ways. And now you pick and choose. Oh, you messed up. I told you. Right? Yeah. You said to yourself, right? And it's so beautiful that he said it because it consecrates right into what this is. We have freedom of choice. And our children, we have to teach them that. However, it is up to us as parents to guide them and build that intelligence and wisdom so they can go out into the world and be people of whoever they're going to be, but yeah. hopefully we, we raise them the right way. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel that. People that are going to make a difference. I, I I pray that my daughter makes a difference in the places that she is. She brings smiles. She brings happiness. She brings okay. joy. We're so miserable. I mean, All right, question as a parent, bro. Yes, yeah, go ahead, go, go ahead. As a parent. <laughs> I was going to go there, too. You 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 are a man of, of, of religion now, right? Mm-hmm. Just like your wife is, a woman of a religion, right? Mm-hmm. Are you guys going to guide your daughter into that religion, or are you going to let her make that choice into that religion? So we, we take her to church every Sunday, right? Um, but I think, again, I go back into the whole religion aspect. The religion is a set of rules. Mm, mm. Wars wars around the world have been set on religion, right? Like um, All the time. Scripture says, right, like, in the end of times, there will be no more religion. We'll be, we'll be one body. We'll be one person. We'll be, one, we'll be moving like one, one, one heartbeat, right? Like, I, almost how we... Talk about like when we're online, right? Like, yeah, just like that, just like that, and and sync and love and compassion, peace, and I think those are things that we all strive for. I think we all look for it in different things. Mm-hmm. I just I've, I found it in in something um, in scriptures. Yeah. I found it in wisdom and the knowledge that I've gained. I mean, even just just to sit here and and be able to let it flow through me is is, is I think it's beautiful, right? Mm-hmm. Like it just showcases how far along I've come along with just simply reading. Mm-hmm. That's all. That's all, and we we'll teach our daughter by our actions. Mm. If I say I'm a man of God, but I'm yelling at my wife in front of my daughter, and I'm and I'm hitting her, whatever the case may be, or I'm cheating on her, or I'm out doing things that aren't right. Well, my daughter gonna say you a hypocrite, right? We we also gotta be strong in that. Like th- that's why it says the narrow is it's gonna be hard for the right to choose right because this is a narrow road versus the wide road. Mm-hmm. So that narrow road, I'm gonna walk down it. But I have to be hard on myself first. I have to eliminate a lot of things that it's tough for me to eliminate. I, I, I'm attached to it. I love it, but I have the to. Problem, the problem is that people don't understand that you, people people that go into the lifestyle that you're going into, right? They, they or people that have been living in it since they were young, and they think it's just the most simplest thing to switch from a person that wasn't in it. Yeah, to get into it because we know how good that tastes. Yeah, yeah, man. Over there. Yeah, yeah. To come over here and restrict myself from that, it's like telling a fat dude, "Yo, just eat salad and don't eat a burger." Like, what you mean? That I'm like, you crazy? Good. Yeah. Salad, put some bacon and some cheese on it. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? What arrested is that? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's 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 the difficulty of that. And and to be honest, I'm proud of you that you even 
decided to go that way, right? You know what I'm saying? That, that's your that's that's a move that not everybody could make. You know what I'm saying? People do change in in their lifestyle, and they do become better people. Do they go into the lifestyle that you're living right now? Probably not. Do they become better people? One hundred percent. Some of them don't. Some of them go even deeper into the thing, and that's when all the problems that we see in our towns and our cities happens. Crackheads, people homeless, all yeah, that. Yeah, shit. for sure, man. I mean, we get lost again. Products of our environment, right? What we see, what we consume, and when we're going through these battles, like the enemy is not gonna bother you when you're living in the world. You're he, you're you, comfortable. He, yeah, you good. You good. He he wants you there. He wants you to be doing whatever you want to do, right? Go ahead, go ahead. I, I this is this is just and this is just me. Um, and <laughs> I was gonna say something, but I'm gonna take it back. No, uh, no, no, say no, it, no, say no, it, I'm, say no, no, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it just because it's it. I find it now weird because now I feel like I don't want to say it. You know how you know how you say oh, being devil's advocate. Yeah. Like now, sometimes I don't even I don't even want to say it. Like, you know I mean? <laughs> no, but, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you got you but, thinking, right? Yeah, yeah, now I got me thinking, right? <laughs> but the uh, question, wait, but the, the camera just stopped recording. It's oh, fine. Fine. we record the audio. We just put the audio. All right, cool. Yeah. But the, the question to this is, can someone get lost on their way to the light doing what you did? Absolutely, a hundred percent. You gotta be. That's what I was saying. You gotta be careful walking this path because you could become a fanatic. You could just start consuming yourself. And then get to like the people that are like, because this is the problem that happened with, with me and Ginjo when we used to go to church in DR. I'm a, I, when I'm in a space, I look at people. I look how you act. Mm -hmm. And then that tells me if I want to be in this space or not. Mm -hmm. I saw so many people in that church and then seen them in the streets doing everything. And I'm like, in my head, I'm oh, like. Oh, I'm not even, I'm not even talking no, about those people. In my head, I'm like. Bro, what, what's going on? And then you have the ones that don't do nothing. Mm -hmm. Like, they can't drink a beer. They can't dance with nobody. They can't do this. They can't. And I'm like, I don't want to be that either. So what am I being? I didn't, have, I didn't have examples like yourself. I didn't have examples like a whole bunch of like Mr. Moreno, my, my, my teacher from fifth grade, which is my favorite teacher of all time, because he's a religious man. Mm -hmm. but he didn't push religion on us. Mm -hmm. He just took us to church one time to watch a film. He said, my church is going to show a film. And I want you to see it. Yeah. Right? In this film, it was like God telling a guy, you're dying this day. Oh, gotcha. And he tried to avoid everything, not to die that day. <laughs> and he died that day. Yeah. Because it was it. And things like that, I was just like, all right, Mr. Moreno showed me that people in religion don't have to be this extreme or don't have to be the lying part. It could be somebody in the middle. So so what, what, what I'm getting at is like, and this is this has probably been my thing with religion, right? Like, there's the person who is the one who pushes religion on you. God do religion, God do religion, God do religion, God do religion. There's a person who goes through, does all the all the rules, right? There's a person who goes, does the 10, lo de Aver Maria, lo de Padre Nuestro, and call it a day, right? Uh -huh. But then there's that person who is just like obsessive about it. Yeah. That is like, yo, it's like almost like, Cause this is what Starts I think. Starts judging people. No, no, no this is this and this and this, and this might not be the right term, right? But I, I almost think like they become demonic about religion. Yeah, yeah you see yeah. what I'm putting it. And to me, that to me, it, like it's it's confusing mm -hmm. because it's like you want to be in this. No, light. no, 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 no. Because my thing is like, and this is this. These are questions that I'll be like, yo, manega, pero dime qué lo que está pasando, yeah, right? Yeah, right? Because sure, it's like, yo, yeah, how yeah, does someone sure. who was trying to find you, who I'm was trying to, who was trying to work for you, right? become so obsessive about it that they genuinely just forget about the entire purpose of them being there. Yeah. You see what I'm getting at? And then to me, that bugs me, right? Because my my, my, my relationship with God is one of my boys. My name is the Que me está pasando? Right? Like, yo, when, when, I have a, when I have a real good day, yo, de lo mío, you my, my nigga. Right? Sure, right? Sure. When I'm having a bad day, I'm like, yo, my name is the pasando? Explícame. ¿Qué es lo que tengo que hacer? Right? Me está poniendo obstáculo. Yeah. Me lo estás poniendo en el medio, pero está heavy. Just you know, right? say thank you. Just say thank you. I got you. Yeah. Right? I got you. So, he's building to a better person. So yeah. my, my thing is, is like, I maybe, and maybe this could be fear, right? Is like, if even going to search for you, I can get lost, is my current path the one that I should stay at? Mm. Right? Because like you said, right? Like, I think I live a good life, Right? Do I know I do things that I'm pretty sure he wouldn't agree with? Correct, right? Yeah. Which so I, I know, 
right? Which I know that we could definitely work on, and I'm down to work on it, right? 100%. But like, doesn't doesn't necessarily require me to be like hundred percent like advocate of it for me to be like accepted. You see what I'm getting at? No, no, yeah, yeah, for Mike. sure, for sure. I think we all play our role, right? Like in scripture, it says um, the body is made of many ligaments. Of many, right? Like the toe can't say, "I'm not important to your body because I'm not a hand." It still, it still keeps your balance. If you don't have mm-hmm. your big toe, you'll be off balance. Yeah, off balance. Yeah, you right. Start limping and shit. Exactly. We even conceal our private parts, right? Like, like a, a part that's insignificant but only significant for one thing, right? Like, like mm-hmm. when we get to right. Um. So that those things, we gotta understand that that we all play a part. Some of us play a heavier part, and some of us play a lighter part, mm-hmm. and we all move as one body, right? Like, like. You don't have to be accepted. No, like, I I think if we look for acceptance in man, we'll never find it because everyone's going crit- to criticize you. You're not good no enough. You're not you doing it my way. Religion, they have denominations. Denomination is, is a Greek word for division, right? Like, it, it divides us, right? Like, like so we're in division within our, own, within our own kingdom. There's no kingdom that can last if you start fighting within itself, right? Mm-hmm. Right? That's why when we look at our community and we, we see our coaches killing one another, it's like, why? Yeah, what you doing? Yeah, because we're supposed to empower each other. Oh, yeah, that man's doing good. How, how can we get him better? So hopefully maybe an opportunity will come for me. Or I'll learn from that and I'll gain and an I'll opportunity. And I'll create another opportunity for somebody else. Exactly, right? And like you guys have opportunity for people. Like I reached out to you guys. Oh, can I come here? Yeah, you guys open an opportunity for me to do what I, I, I'm doing my works. God, let's say God sent me here, right? We're talking, you guys probably didn't have this in mind to talk about God. Yeah, how you guys are. <laughs> right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. No, yeah. And thing- you guys are playing your part. So, so you're doing your part by one. You've offered me a cup of water. You've allowed me to come here, right? So, that is something gratifying to God, right? God sees that. He sees, oh, there's a, this is an avenue to do something, right? And maybe not every day, but this is a part, a portion that maybe not a lot, but people will watch. And that's all. It doesn't matter how many people. I just need one. <laughs> I just need Perhaps. one person. Yeah. And the kingdom right. of heaven rejoices. And it's not that I'm crazy about it or anything like that. It's just more like, this is my mission now. I used to do it for Lambda, right? Like, yeah. We I used to set up interest meetings. I used to go and, and and we used to I used to lie to people, right? Like whatever to get people there. I used get to bring food, there. whatever the case may be. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then in a sense, almost bring you know, this is bring them out to different brothers and stuff like that. Look at the culture. Look, this is what we do. Look at the parties. Look at Look at Negro, bro. Anybody who came to Negro or anything like that, bro, it was all love, right? Like, or anybody, if I took them out, if I took them out to Alpha, whoever I came with, or Sigma, right? Like, one yeah. of the biggest chapters, right? Like, those guys, who didn't want to chill with those guys, right? Exactly. Like, yeah, so it was just, it was one of those things where, like, um, where do you surround yourself with, right? Like, we were indulging in X, Y, and Z, but now it's just my, I just switched to, to God, to Jesus. It's just, yeah. it's, it's just the difference. It's, the difference is that, and it's not religion, mm-hmm. like, the image of it, I don't know what Jesus truly looks like. I know he was a Middle Eastern man, right? That's the, that's what that's we've been it. told. Yeah, yeah, that's what we've been t- yeah, 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 right. Like, like, and then you you have whatever. So there's a lot of images you got to be careful with as well, because mm-hmm. you go to a museum and see a 500 images of God, and it's all a different perspective. Yeah. So I think I think uh, at the end of the day, if you if you just become a good person and try your best not to hurt or harm anybody, right, and this is one thing that. But well, stop it right there. Oh, no, 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 but one stop. I, I, I got you, I got you, I got you. But even, even in that, even in that, I no, because they're gonna just go. No, no, because yeah. no, he no. Didn't even let me finish. I know, but 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 but, but, but uh, alright, but hear me out. And there, it, it, there, it's there, an exciting no, topic. And you just it? let me finish, <laughs> and then you just all right, say go, what you go, have to go. say. Yeah, because I hear all the time that people are God fearing. God fearing, yes, yes. I'm not. I'm not God fearing. I'm not. And I'm gonna tell you why. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. I like this. I like this. I'm not God fearing. I'm God respecting. Mm, Yeah, but that's what God fearing means. No, no, no. No, I don't think so. Somebody, you know, because I respect. No, no. Fear. When I was a kid, when I was when I was when I was a kid, I used to fear my mother. Yeah, yeah. Out of respect. No. Because out of fear. Yeah, that was fear. Fear. (laughs) When I grew, when I grew up, when I grew up, when I grew up, I started to respect my mother. Yes. Yes. Which is different. It means that I look at this woman. But do you think because she implemented that fear, you respected it? If she would have never implemented that fear in you, would you have respected her? I, I don't think it's that. I think I understood. Okay, okay. I think I understood what my mom was going through. Gotcha. And then I respected. it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, understood. Understood. Like, my little brother didn't respect my mom until he was... Older, older, yeah, like yeah, older, yeah. older. We, what? I started like, respecting my mom when I was like ten, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Oh shit!" 
No, no, because you guys saw different. You guys saw you, her you, with there's, there's yeah, different yeah. eyes, different yeah, eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when the reason I say I don't fear him is because everything that at least my my great grandma Paulina que Dios la tenga en su gloria. Amen. Verdad, my great grandma and my aunts would tell me she's like he helps you, he he guides you to the good and, and the, the bad. bad. Yeah. Right. My grandma never told me you have to fear God. Yeah. He, she said he loves you, so you love him back. Amen. Right? Am I a religious dude? Hell no. No, no, no. Right? I'm not. But I respect when you say that name, Dios, God, and you know how people write it, oh, my God, and you, they put the lowercase g. I'm not, I know you're not talking about God. Yeah, I, when you put G. that capital G and the that OG. capital D, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. when you put that capital G and that capital D, I'm like, bro, that yeah. is not your. I, and I tell people all the time, like, oh my god, that's not your god, bro. Yeah. It's our god, bro. Yeah, yeah, like, you can't just. And to me, I respect him because of this. If I feared him, I would never speak to him the way I speak to him. Mm-hmm. That's a fact. I speak to him like this, mi hermano. Te voy a hacer una pregunta, mi loco. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for Sin sure. faltarte el reproductor es mío. Yeah. Yo necesito que tú me ayudes y me dé la vista para yo salir de este problema. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yo no quiero dinero, no quiero nada. Dime cómo yo puedo hacer para salirme de este lío. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Pan, ¿tú me entiendes? Mm-hmm. If I feared him, I would pray a prayer that people pray in church. Yeah, yeah. That's how I look at it. So, for example, like, I, when I say I fear the Lord, right, is 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 deep respect for him. Mm. I, I don't fear him in a way like, oh my God, God I'm not going to do this. because No, no, no. It's, 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 I'm walking this way, and that's, and that's disrespecting my father in heaven. And he sees all. He knows all. And I'm being disrespectful deliberately. I'm deliberately coming to you, and I'm, and I'm telling you I'm going to do it. Because you, know, you yeah. know, he knows our hearts. right? Like, so I'm deliberately just going to say, you know what, I'm just going to do this regardless. So that... Right there, that's where I, I'm losing my fear of the Lord. And then when I mean like, fear, like again, it goes, that word fear, we can really take it literal mm. and say and, and start shaking in our boots. Right? I think a lot of people do. Exactly, and you can't. And I and I like what you said, right? Like, because it's true. You, that's how I just replace it. Yeah, I yeah, and I get it, and I get it, I I, I get that completely. Um, but there's also like a deeper meaning behind it, behind, it. and that's why I'm just gonna clarify that, right? Mm. Like, when you when you, when you fear the Lord is like a, a fear of parent, like you were saying, right? Like, is is a respectful like my mom? I, I didn't I didn't get I was saying earlier, right? Like I didn't I didn't get home past a certain time because my mom she she will lay down that hand on me, right? And I, not that God will lay down our hand on on us, but He can if He wants. If He decided to draw His breath back to Himself, there's not one not one of us that will be left with breath. We will all go back into dust the way we came from dust we go, from dust we came to dust we go, right? And that's just who we are, right? He is Almighty. He is Alpha and Omega. He's the first, the last, right? Like the one who is and the one who shall be. Like this is so beautiful to understand that. And it's like when I when when I fear the Lord, it's more like I'm giving Him praise. Like, see, I'm I'm, I'm right now I'm praising, but I'm sharing little knowledge of Him, mm-hmm. the, the little knowledge that I have because wisdom, wisdom is like the grains of salt in the sea. We can't count it. We can't count every single grain of salt. It's, uh-huh. it's impossible. Yeah, it That's how wisdom is. We can't attain it all. We just can't. None of us can say I'm the smartest. None of us can say I'm the greatest. Because there's only one who is greater than us. Because there's one before us. And there was one who teaches us. And there's one who's teaching us now. And when we die, like I said earlier, there'll be one teaching. who's going to teach other people. Mm-hmm. Right? And it, in those scriptures, there's many books. that if you, if you look at the Torah, if you look at the Quran, all of them... The scriptures are very similar, like the Old Testament. They all intertwine, right? A lot, a lot of the Muslims, they, they, they go off of the prophets, right? Like, and the prophets spoke strongly. Like, yo, you guys got to stop. You guys got to repent right now because things are coming. And they came. It's historical, right? <laughs> like, it's historical. And, and and even so now, we're seeing things kind of develop. And I won't even get into that because then people are like, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah draw madness for no reason. And that, that's where people, like, they get too into it. And they think that they have the answers. They know everything. And then they start saying them and play like, Yo, who makes you almighty? You're just a man. You The other day, you were smoking some weed with me. Now you're yeah. you this God-fearing man. Yeah. Like, like, you know. Now you're Jesus' cousin. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, it was good. Like, yeah, 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 cool like Jesus that. Yeah. Yeah. El primo Jesucristo te dijo. Yeah, pero que se quedó de ti. Lo que escribiste tú, la mierda. I swear to God. No, yeah. And there's some people that they get prideful in it. And that's all evil. That's all things that, that shouldn't be happening because we should, God teaches us to be humble. He says, follow me. He, 
Jesus says, follow me. He doesn't say, go be Christian. He doesn't say, go be Catholic. Go be more. Follow me. And then the lessons that he teaches, right? And I think it's beautiful to t- speak to him as a friend because he says it in the scriptures too. I no longer call you disciple, but friend because how beautiful it is to lay down your life for a friend. How beautiful is that? If, if somebody was to come and, and try to hurt Negro and I came in between that, I would look honorable. And for sure. And that's what Jesus did for us. He stood in front and said, I got you guys. I got your back. You my homie. I got Meal. you, bro. Throw it on me. Right? Hey, I'm going to take you? these lashes for you, bro. I'm going to take this cross for you. And I'm going to take this die. I'm going to die. And not only I'm going to die, I'm going to come back three days later and show you what's good. God is an OG. Ain't <laughs> 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 hey, nobody can tell me different. <laughs> I'm 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 so just, and I guess, I guess to wrap it up, right? Um, and this is a question that, what I was going to ask before Damon. Damon started off by saying, like, you know, I, th- I think I live a good life. Yes, yes. Right? Yes. Is that enough? Mm. Right? Because, like, I know, and, and I'm not, I'm, I'll speak about myself, right? There was a point where, not that I didn't believe in God or Jesus, right? I just, there was just, there was no communication whatsoever. Mm-hmm. But I, but I lived a good life, right? I didn't harm nobody. Um, you know, I, I try to help as many people as I can. I was huge on community service, like you know what I mean. So, you know, I'm I'm trying to think about that. You know, that young 23, 24 year old Negro, right, who probably didn't have a any sort of communication with God or Jesus, right? It's like if that kid would have died right there, would that have been enough for him to be accepted? You sure I'm getting it? Because I feel like. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. From where I stand now with the communi- with the small communication that I do have with Jesus, I'm still thinking like, yo, that kid should have deserved to be accepted because he didn't harm no one. Everything he was everything he did was with good faith, right? Yeah, for he sure. just didn't he just didn't have a relationship with you, yeah. right? So you know, how do how, how what would you tell a kid who's there li- leaves a distant life, right? All they do is you know they don't they don't try to do any work, harm for anybody. Go home, they go yeah. home, they work, they help people who when they can, right? Uh, but they just don't have a relationship with God, yeah. right? It's like, is is that enough? So I think we all need to build eventually a, a relationship with God. But scriptures also say those who don't know will be hit with low blows. And those who do know and act accordingly to what they know will hit with, will get hit with sound blows. Explain that. So, all right. So, for example, if I you, you should not commit adultery, right? And I go commit adultery, yeah. right? And I know I, I'm doing it. Like, say right now, I go on, I go cheat on my wife right now, okay. right? I know now that I've entered a zone where I could be punished, right? Like in severe punishment because I, I, I violated, like I said, I, I, I completely stopped fearing God. I went and did what I wasn't supposed to do. Knowing that, right? Because yeah. it's morally wrong. Not because he said, but it's morally wrong to my wife. It hurts her. It brings pain to her. And then it breaks, up, breaks us up. She might divorce me. All these things, it leads down to problems and turmoil. Okay. Mm-hmm. So a kid that's going through there, Jesus didn't start preaching until he was 33. He lived a life. I don't know what he was doing within that lifespan, right? He was a carpenter from what it said. But he, we have to live a life. You can't know what the mud feels like if your foot was never in the mud. You can't tell me how to run in the mud if you never felt how the mud squeezes through your, through, through your toes when you're trying to run. You can't. You just can't. You, you can't tell me I do. So I think we do need to go through a certain level of turmoil. I think we do need to go in and see this life and say, you know what? This is leading me towards here. And like, you know what? These are the options I have. What the problem is, we're not given the option of looking into these scriptures and showing the truth of it versus forcing it down people's throat. Like I've i reached out one point. There's times there's times where like I'm in prayer and I get messages and I reach out to many people. I reached out one day to like 30 brothers, I think, individually. And each of them got a different scripture. Every single one got a different scripture and a different message. And they could tell you, and they, uh, they probably even spoke about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. They probably even mentioned it here, there, yeah. right? Hey, and I'm okay with, and I, I think that's beautiful because now each of them seeing like, oh, wait, he sent me this, but I got this. And he sent me that. That's not done by mistake. Each of them, a message. Maybe, I don't know why why I sent it. I don't know what it was for, but it was for them at that very moment. Maybe it helped them. Maybe it didn't, it didn't even cause them a tickle. But I did my job. I did what God sent me to do. Simple. That's all I'm here to do. I'm here to do what God sends me to do. And a kid that's 23 and going through his life or whatever, I was at that age. Is he good enough? Sometimes the scripture also says sometimes your life is cut short so you can be saved. You know what I mean? Like, like if you if you ask for forgiveness, God will forgive you. Like He's forgiven of all things, but you gotta accept them. You got. And if we have time at this moment, 
in the moment we're walking in life, it's simple, man. Repent. Simply understand. Acknowledge, yo, I've done this wrong. Let me let me try to rectify it. You don't have to do it right away because it's not easy to just change from one day to the next. It's not. Yeah. But you have to grow on it. You have to poner tu puñito de arroz every day. And you know what I mean? And then from there, um, from there you, you'll, you'll grow and you'll increase and you'll start to learn a new way and then you can teach it and then you can be peace with it. And if somebody takes it, cool. If somebody don't, I mean, I mean. You know what I mean? I did my job. I did what I, I did my part. Nobody could sit here and say, Howard did not warn me. I warned you. I told you. But I promise you, if 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 I get the opportunity to vouch for any of them, yo, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yo, we need him up here because there ain't going to be a party without Negro, you yeah? <laughs> I know he was. Yo, yo. Yo, Jesus. Listen to me, bro. Yo, man. Go out of there, man. Yo, man. Un segundito. Dio, dio, dio. Usted es jefe aquí. Es verdad, usted es jefe. Pero le, yo le voy a un consejo a usted. Yeah. Oye, no, sin falta de respeto. Ese tigre que está ahí, ese, ese de los yeah. buenos. Lo, déjate de mí. <laughs> Tú lo sabes. You saw how he had the people. But it's funny, right? Like, it, what we're great at, God calls us to be great at, right? Like, he calls us to, to, to use him, um, his knowledge and his wisdom and what we're good at, our talents that he freely gave us. Like, what you do is, is talent. What you do is, you're talented. It comes natural to you guys. When I look at your podcast, you guys, man, the way you guys introduce it is natural. It's like, yo, I, I can sit here and watch. Like, those are the boys. Like, I yeah. can sit here and I, and I know it's going to be great conversation and it's going to be something that I can listen to. Like, when I listen, like, I was listening to you, the podcast about that DJ, whatever the case may be. Like, <laughs> bro, I was dying. Bro. <laughs> we never got that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, we know both of you. Yeah, yeah. That's all I got to say. Hey, tiro la primera pierna. Tú no te defendiste, sabes, porque tú salvaste los ojos. Pero David, David le dio a la cabeza yeah. y estamos heavy, yeah. Yeah. Estamos heavy. Yeah. No, no. And at, we're called to defend ourselves. We're called to, to, to say what's right. But, you know, I mean, it goes deep into that. But, like, again, we all play our parts. My Facts. part is to play this part right now. That's why I'm just playing that Facts. part. On Instagram, I post scriptures. But I'm Antes not, de irnos, yo te voy a decir yeah. una cosa así mismo. Antes de irnos, ya que, ya que se acabó el show, ¿verdad? Yeah, yeah. Yo soy Chris Pink Films. Yo soy Jorge Alaire. Este es nuestro amigo Harvard. No, no sé si él va a ser un pastor en el futuro. No se sabe. <risa> Quizá. Y cuando llegue ese momento, también lo vamos a traer de nuevo porque no hablo un ching de la palabra de nuevo. Eh. Para que ustedes se lucren. Te hablo, la cámara está para acá y yo apuntando para allá. Como, le... <risa> <risa> como que si está la cámara prendida. <risa> Oye, yo necesito que tú me digas your favorite scripture or the one that you, that you connect to the most or the one that you send the most. Mm. Dame ese, como que es... Eh, to, cl to close it out. Cerrarlo. To close y, y it no out. Voy a decir, ahí se acabó. <laughs> so uh, a, a scripture that I really, really, really do enjoy um, is Isaiah 54. It's get like, me close to Mike. I want to make sure we get this. Uh, Isaiah 50 is it, is about the fast that pleases the Lord, right? And it's not the type of fast that religion teaches you. It's it's a type of fast that is kindness, that is love. It says it says basically you. You decide to you decide to give me you come to me and you pray to me and, I, and I'm I'm paraphrasing it is not word by word. Okay. Um, you decide to come to me. This is the Lord speaking, right? You decide to come to me with prayers and, and, and repentance, but then you go out and you push your trade, meaning that you go out and you you do the bad things that you say you repent of, or you go out and you and you start fighting with your with, with the person with a neighbor or with a friend or whatever the case may be. So how do you, you're being hypocritical to your own work. The, the type of fast that pleases me is the denial of self, right? Like, like, like going out and being, not being prideful. Like if somebody is, is arguing, you having that patience, say, you know what, it's okay, you're right. I'll listen, you know what, my bad, I was wrong. Just submit into it and see how that person, persona change. If they're still aggressive, then you, you see that they're the issue, right? And then you, you see your patience and your peace. And maybe your patience and your peace could bring them to a sense of serenity and peace. But we also have to be a reflection of that when we walk out, like when we walk out into the world, how are you acting? Who are you being remembered as by the person that never knew you? What is your first impression when someone sees you, when you open that door, when they see Negro for the first time? Do they see somebody who just doesn't care about the world, just walking, just another character, or he's the guy that's opening the door, hey, have a great day? You know what I mean? Simple as that. You don't even got to say God's word. It's your actions, your, what you exonerate through what you do on a daily basis. And that type of fast that pleases the Lord. So like again I paraphrase it, but it's it's just it's much deeper than that. Um it's a lesson. It's a lesson that I've picked up on myself and I just I walk with every day and I try my best to kind of just go into that persona because I fail it. I'm not perfect. But I do every day. I wake up and I carry my cross. Say God, you no know, guide me through my day. 
allow me to speak to whoever I need to speak to with patience, peace. Allow me not to lose my my my, my character and get out of character because I have. Um, allow me not to look at that woman because you know she I. <laughs> you know she, she I. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, so. Ain't nobody even yeah. told you like that. But allow, yeah. allow me to respect her because if I'm looking at her with lust, then um, one. We could go into that. That's a whole different conversation. But um, we have to start with respecting the women, even if they don't respect themselves. It's up to us to respect them. You know what I mean? Um, and then it goes e- even deeper than that. Who am I as a father? Who am I as a husband? Who am I as a friend? Mm. So all those all those little lessons that I've picked up, and I'm just just trying to learn it. That's it, man. Yes, sir. Shout out to Scudo. Bang, bang. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a great conversation, yeah.